everybody Woohoo! hey how we do it it's friday <laughs> and it's a long friday as well it's like getting slightly excited by the fact that i've had today off actually which is it's kind of weird it's weird i was like i was kind of like doing bits and pieces i went and went lego shopping today see if i could get any april 1st uh new sets that are coming out not that there's absolutely bundles of them but we have got some big ones coming out that's for sure uh went to Swiss toys and uh we went there and had a look uh ended up did i, I did i did come out with something actually the uh an, an animal crossing set uh that we could see it just over there look, there we go just over there it's quite good actually i quite liked it i was 17 quid so i might you might even see me over the weekend doing a quick pop-up stream uh just quite randomly uh building it i kind of fancied it really i think it was the bunny thing on it i just wanted i kind of want to amuse myself with an animal crossing set and uh picked up some um minifigures as well from the new or the, the current i should say cmf series uh i managed to get some more of those vampire knights which i think is absolutely one of the best minifigures of 2024 and i even managed to pick up a goat as well even the guy at the counter said to me he goes uh, did you manage to get a goat at all i said yeah i got your last one so luckily enough i was using the old scanning and by all accounts uh the new uh cmf series the space one which well, i don't know is, is getting a bit of a lukewarm reception at the moment uh and we will be diving into that a little bit later too um they work as well with it. At least that's what uh, Brick Fanatics is saying, and it does look like they come in codes. We're going to take a little bit look at those a little bit later as well. We could do a slightly deeper dive because uh, in some shops somewhere, I don't know where, uh, they are actually selling them already. Uh, they're not due out yet for another 32 days or so. So that's kind of interesting. Like I say, it's been a bit of a lukewarm one. So that kind of leads quite nicely in tonight's survey uh, where I'm asking based on what we know, because it is kind of all what we know at the moment, which CMS series do you prefer? 2024 Space Series, 29% of you so far liking them. 28 votes. Keep them coming, folks. Let's see if we can get up to 100 on that. Uh, or the 2024 Dungeons and Dragons, 46% are going for that one. I'm kind of not surprised. 25% undecided. Uh, I just sort of think, the first thing I will say, actually, do you know what? No, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it till we actually get everyone on. We're chatting about it as it happens. I just think there's a couple of wasted opportunities there with the space thing. Uh, let me know what you think a little bit later about that. Of course. So other things that we got, we've got some of the releases that are going to be coming out. We've got, uh, we've got an interesting look at, actually, uh, the Friends Research Rover. Something got dropped by Elementary not too long ago. Gaz brought it to my attention. Uh, and I thought we'd take a little look at that because I thought it looked pretty damn good. Uh, there are reviews dropping of that set as well. And I'm definitely, definitely, like I said, probably about, I don't know, four weeks ago when it got announced. I'm definitely going to be getting that on day one. You've got the Batman gotham skyline as well i honestly think that is a really good set of all the art sets and they've been around for a little while now that's definitely my favorite one dungeons and dragons is coming out as well and for a week or so you'll be able to get that mimic gift with purchase um i'd be interested to know if you guys and girls out there actually will be getting it someone i know who has got it uh thankfully 
to do with Iceberg Bricks. I just saw him in the chat a minute ago, which kind of made me remind me where it came from. Is of course Jesse's Brick Galaxy. He streamed uh, the actual game last week, and it's doing really well. I think it's, last time I looked, it had, had over a thousand views. So do check it out. And that kind of leads in as well quite nicely. Anyone who I don't think I planned this tonight uh, is that uh, tonight's PMQ, uh, the panel members' questions, does actually come from Jesse's Brick Galaxy as well, which is jolly exciting. Uh, and as always, folks, we'll have Mock the Week. Gazza will be highlighting uh, somebody in the community. And this week is, oh, my God, uh, when they say the devil is in the detail, it literally is with this one. Uh, and, of course, like I said, folks, do check out the survey. We've got a few more votes that have just gone pumping into that survey to keep them coming uh everybody who is going to be on the panel tonight you'll find all their details down in the description below and while you're down there as well do us a favor give us a thumbs up uh the pmq by the way i just thrown it out there for anyone who kind of watches this on replay and quite a few of you do do me a little favor if you happen to have any thoughts about the pmq and i'm going to chapterize it as well so if you want to go from now uh if you're watching this back and you want to go fast forward to the pmq this week uh you will be able to do hopefully in the next day or so when i do because we do finish quite late here in the uk um so yeah and let me know what you think and if you, you know what if you leave a comment about this week's pmq I'll give you a shout out next week as well about it. And we can kind of introduce that and kind of round it off and bring it in and weave it in and out of the PMQ each week as well. I think that would be quite a fun thing to do. And it kind of enables me to kind of reach out a little bit more with you boys and girls that are watching this stream. Uh, anyway, uh, we've got a new a newbie on tonight as well, which is jolly exciting. Uh, can't wait to get her on. Uh, we wanted to get her on for quite some time, actually. Uh, she's a regular streamer on Sundays. Uh, and... Uh, She'll be on in just a moment. Anyway, like I always do, folks, I'm always going to say hello to you lot out there as well tonight. We've got Gary, as always. Hello from Ireland. Good to see you, Gary. Hope you've had a top week. Uh, we're celebrating Easter over here at the moment. So we've got Friday off. I know they're doing this in Germany as well. I'm sure they are in Ireland. Uh, and, uh, and we've got Monday off as well. So I've got a nice long weekend. So you will be seeing a stream from me on Monday. That's for sure. We've got Miss Ambie. She's, uh, she's rejoined. She's going to become a YouTube member. Thank you, Miss Ambie. Uh, she's there at the London. Super appreciate that. Great to have you here. Got two Gary Foles as well. Um, boys hope you've had a top week uh, i'm looking forward to seeing what you guys uh, think about the rover as well i totally love it i really really do and we've got this uh, keep doing good work and city creating discuss i will uh, the, the city is a thing now i could kind of refocus on that simply because uh some of the extra work that i've been doing down here has now come to an end so i can refocus my efforts on that and with that miss ambie thank you so much for the two pounds i super appreciate it and miss ambie this is for you Automatic pilot. Thank you so much for that, Miss Ambi. I super appreciate it. I really, really do. Uh, we've got Polar Bricks out there as well saying hello. Hello, Polar Bricks. Good to see you, Andy. I uh, hope all is good with you. Um, and thank you for getting back to me as well uh, earlier on about the PMQ. <laughs> uh, I, sometimes to, I sometimes forget that I, I, sometimes it feels like I'm in a Zoom call when I'm doing these live streams. And I have to remember, actually, Greg, you're live. There's, there's going to be a few hundred people watching this over the course of the next day. Uh, we've got uh, KO out there as well uh saying tga uh and of course minific nick love the avatar always do brick and dens out there as well we've got the countdown as well from ko super appreciate that my friend uh hello guys and greg uh says emily sykes emily uh i just hope you've had a super week i really do emily. i always uh, wish the best for you and everybody else of course uh titanium's out there i just got an ad for an off-brand base plates Ooh, really interesting i don't know we were following someone recently that actually does use off-brand stuff for lego uh it's a bit weird but loads of base plates they are a lot cheaper i wish lego would do base plates a lot cheaper as well andrew's out there as well. happy friday i had the day off from work good for you my friend uh iceberg is out there too he says what's up lego people Good to see you, uh, Iceberg Bricks. Good. I think it's about time we get you back on here again. Uh, it's been a little while. It's probably been about two years since you've been on. Hey, Lego family. Happy Easter. Trevor, thank you so much as well. And thank you for sending that email back to me earlier on today. Uh, I will be posting that a little bit later. Thank you. Uh, Lego Team B's out there all the way from Australia. Great to see you, uh, Lego Team B. Hope you are going to have a super weekend because it is where you are. Brick Larrikin's out there. Shane, good to see you, my friend. Uh, as always, lots of love for you, my friend. And uh, oh, there he is there. Oh, sorry, I just nearly blipped on me there. Hey, all, uh, you lovely lot. Good to see you as well, One Brick Stud. Um, 
hope you've enjoyed your day off if you've had your day off as well and uh anybody that is just sort of enjoying some time off and not necessarily uh into the easter gig I just hope you have some nice time with your family and your, and your, and your loved ones. Delicious foods out there. Good to see you, delicious foods. Simon saying good evening, Simon. Lovely to see you, my friend. Uh, how many chucky eggs have you had already? I, here's the thing. This morning, uh, I have, oh my God, I have had, I, I've eaten quite a lot of chocolate today. I've eaten, um, I had a hot cross bun, triple chocolate Tesco hot cross bun. I've got some images. I'll put it up on Instagram, maybe later tonight or tomorrow. Oh my God, that was so good. Uh, and I did, I will, I will confess, uh, after my breakfast this morning, uh, which was scrambled eggs on crumpets. I love a crumpet. I mean, uh, I, uh, I then went on to eat half a bag of, uh, of mini eggs while I was watching, uh, an episode of, uh, season two of Reacher. Uh, <laughs> so there you go. That's what I had. Uh, but I still managed to keep with under my calories for today. Gifty one, let it go. Bridge Bricks membership. Simon, that's really kind of you. Thank you so much, my friend. I, do you know what? I should actually do a special, uh, vid for that. But for now, Cable detached. Detach cable. Cable detached. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> I was just drinking a coffee and have a little read through there. Sometimes I even forget I'm streaming. I just like to kind of read what's going on out there. Lego uh, aren't the only brick. They definitely aren't, actually. That is a thing. It is very, very true. They aren't, but they are my preferred brick. Uh, who else we got out there? Brick Stage Parts, Saint Evenal. Good to see you, uh, Craigster. I uh, hope you've had a nice week. I'm, I'm sure you're looking forward to Monday as well. Hey, we've got Minark out there too. Minark, I uh, hope you're okay, my friend. hope your week's ended. Better than it began. Uh, if you know, you know. Uh, Rebecca Barton says, I use off-brand minifig display cabinets, but I put old plates down so there's no damage to the figs. Yeah, do you know what? There's, 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 there's displays. There's totally, I don't think, even think there's a proper display by Lego. There's loads of off-brand stuff. That's totally fine, that is. Uh, I will say this. I think for my city, uh, I won't be using any off-brand stuff for that. Uh, not that I'm knocking it, folks. It's just one of those things. Uh, right, where should we go next? Uh, we've got Minific Nick work today. Still uh, double time. Yeah, exactly. You can't be, you can't shun that, my friend. Uh, double bubble. Uh, delicious foods out there as well. Saying, uh, <laughs> giving it a bit of the old Easter treat. Loving that. Right, okay. I think we're nearly at the end. Hey, happy Easter, Rebecca. Yeah, indeed. And happy Easter to every single one of you peeps out there as well um right let's start getting some people in shall we right where should we go first i'll tell you where i'm gonna go first uh, i'm gonna go over to america first got loads of we've got loads of americans on tonight folks americans canadians british uh and uh, gallifreyans as well i think that's what they call them uh or galileans who knows but anyway we'll find out in the next 10 minutes here we go right okay um this uh, this young lady who's coming on next, uh, I actually uh, I am part and parcel of a podcast that she's uh, doing at the moment. Uh, I, and when I say that, I actually feature on one of them. That will be coming out rather soon. Maybe we'll talk about it a little bit tonight. When you do see it, you will probably see or hear, uh, more to the point, a slightly different side of me, a more mature side of me than normal. But anyway, uh podcast is called They're Just Humans, and we are all just humans. And she is the wonderful... Liz. Hey, you. Hey. I think I got hey, the name hey. of it right tonight. I think I got the name. You of did. Right. <laughs> you did. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> Thank goodness I wrote it down. <laughs> I was going to say, I think you looked down at notes, but hey, you know what? You got it right. I know. I know. I know. I always try to do my eyes like that. So people can think, I mean, am I looking at that? Or am I actually reading something down here? Um, okay. What can I say? My, 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 my mind wanders continuously. It really does. Um, All of ours do. They do. I don't. I know. I kind of like it though. I just there was a time I used to fight it, but now I don't. I just go with it, um, which is kind of probably limiting uh, programming on my part, my brain. But I kind of like it as well because I'm creative. Can't help it. Uh, anyway, how are you doing, Liz? Hey, 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 hey. How are you? Anyway, you're looking really well tonight. Thanks. I'm camera ready. I know you, you're, um, you're kind of. You're, you're kind of uh, it's a very you, bright. You... I have three windows in front of me. I'm like, whoa. Um, That's good. But yeah, no, I'm well. Um, I want to comment that I use off-brand base plates for those uh, oh, those frames yeah. up yeah, there. Yeah. I put no, my mini figures on there. So okay, so those got, are off-brand. Are they IKEA frames, and then you've used a different base plate for them because they, you didn't get the colors. Mm, as well. They're not IKEA frames. Oh, okay. um, 
what is her name now i feel bad i don't know uh oh, heather fine. heather bricks heather maybe bricks? uh oh i know heather yeah, yeah, yeah. she makes all those she started oh, doing yeah. that and i got the idea off her so she has a tutorial on her instagram page that tells you exactly how to make those and it's super easy yeah okay no, no she's god she was one of the first people i ever kind of ever watched on instagram back in the day like I, she was kind of she's to me she was quite quite the celeb uh and i think i've been around now for about four years or so and she's still going because she like she likes my uh reel that i put out a couple of days ago uh the things bouncing around my lego brain one which uh i'm compelled to do every two weeks I, do you know what, Liz? I even had, I even had people message me. Two people messaged me on um, on Wednesday saying, "Why isn't it out yet?" Uh, and I'm like, "I'm like, well, this is too early. Yeah, it'll be it'll be out in about two hours or so." Uh, but you know, I'm kind of compelled to do that now. Um, yeah. Now, now we've got a question uh, from Robin Hole. Hey, Robin, how you doing? Uh, Robin, just saying, uh, I was a bit shocked to hear that the Lego stores closed on Sunday. Uh, but anyway, uh, Robin Holt, he knows what I'm talking about. Uh, question, what is what is a membership? It, well, it, it, that's a good point, actually, because I didn't mention it. Uh, there's two different ways you can support the channel, uh, Robin. Firstly, you can either give us a super chat and I'll stick your name. Well, actually, it's down there tonight. I didn't even make it over to there. Uh, you can tell I've been DIYing down here. Yeah? Uh, anyway, you can support the channel that way. Give us a super chat, give your name, shout out, and mention you on uh, Instagram at some point as well or if you're watching this on a pc you'll see a join button down there and there's two different tiers folks there's londoner and there's greater londoner and um yeah you just get some perks and uh see some live streams and come on the panel and stuff like that which do you know what i'm due to do one very very soon and of course you enter the giveaways too so if you want to if you're interested let me know robin uh press that join button uh we've got echo bricks is out there too great to see you hi everyone working and lurking uh thank you as well for sending in your picture to me echo steve I super appreciate it. Right, Liz, where would you like to go next? We've got Gallifrey. We've got Southampton. We've got somewhere on the east coast of America, which I, I we'll say Hogwarts. We'll say Hogwarts. Uh, or we can go what, for what Scotland is to England and pop up north to Canada. Uh, where would you? Where would you like to go? I can never say no to Hogwarts, so we're going there oh okay I, do you know what? i often think you guys could be sisters i really do you've got you're so serious i know so i was ways. actually like geeking out a bit and i didn't even mm. say hi to her in the pre-chat but like i'm very excited to be here with this this wonderful human that's coming on here oh well, she, and she is she truly is and can i just say right uh i i remember once i was talking about your podcast to you and uh and i said oh, wait, i tell you my, my two favorite podcasters right as you liz and shy you guys should do like a podcast together and you're like i did do one uh, and i have listened to it as well uh, i have listened to it i was like ah oh! it's like one of those moments i was like oh i don't call myself a fan um so yeah, so you guys have done right. that. Now you guys are gonna, and tonight it's gonna be, it's gonna be like a thing. Cause I always see you guys, to me, you, you just remind me of each other. It is, it is a thing. Uh, you, could, you could do something. I don't know. I'm just saying, I'm just throwing it out there. But anyway, uh, I, let's bring her on, shall we? She is, of course, my, she is the queen of Harry Potter. I don't even know if they have queens in, in, in Hogwarts world. I don't know, but maybe they do. Maybe they don't. I don't know. Maybe they have kings. They certainly have wizards. That's for sure. Anyway, let's bring her in, shall we? She is, of course, the brightest witch briggs, otherwise known to everybody in the multiverses as Lauren. Hello, you. Hello, everyone. Hi. Long time honestly, no see. Honestly, it's like, because I know you've both got very dark hair. Look, there you go. It could be a thing. Is this... I... There, if, if if I like contoured a little bit more and like had my ponytail, we could yeah. turn up my like had actual like lighting on. We 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 could make it happen. There's synergy. There's synergy, and you you could even down to the IKEA furniture. There's synergy there. There really is. Uh, it is. It is. Anyway, Lauren, lovely to have you here. Try not to laugh too much tonight. I, I know. You, I know. It's just uh, so funny. It's going to be hard for you. I know. I can. I, I get it. I get it. Because we do have a little chuckle on this stream. We really do. Um, anyway, how are you doing? You okay? Other than the uh, slightly bruising to the ribs, we don't have to go into detail. Um, are you okay then? I I am good. Um, now you're gonna I, you're gonna have to share. Like I'm gonna have to share the Hogwarts. This is Hogwarts A. Like this is Hogwarts mm -hmm. in book. Oh, oh yeah. Helga. Agreed. All right, cat. This is <laughs> this is Hogwarts in book like four. All right. Now, because there are many different Hogwarts and each 
can be the queen of her Hogwarts castle for the oh. later guests that we have coming on because I can't I can't hog that title today. I gotta share it. <laughs> oh yeah, you have you have yeah. Sorry, it, it, it costs. Uh, I, just, I, I just want I wanted to make that known because you know it's like every Harry Potter fan that has like a wide Harry Potter collection yeah. is quite proud of it and and we're quite protective of our own little Hogwarts builds and so and and she has oh. a whole room dedicated it, it's another one he, he, he can't get enough Harry Potter this guy uh, <laughs> he really can't um, and honestly, listen I'm really glad that I can lay low for April so that I can buy a little bit of Star Wars in May <laughs> and then hold out for the Hopefully we get some um, nice pictures soon for the June releases because yes, I need we will I need more Harry Potter content. I'm, I guarantee I April the first we will get a load of images of what's coming out. Oh, it's it's gonna gonna be a always do it. Star, like, always it's going to be like Star Wars, <laughs> Harry Potter, yeah, is, later yeah. stuff. Yeah, R two D two key rig. Just saying. Uh, <laughs> before, before we get anyone else on, Minark. Minark, it's very kind of you. Says LC217, awesome start to the weekend as always. Minark, thank you so much for that. I really do. Uh, we were just talking about Star Wars, but I've seen, seen the Ghostbusters has got a new movie out. Yeah. So with that, Minark, this is for you. It's right here, Ray. It's looking at me. He's an ugly little spud, isn't he? I think he can hear you, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that, I Minark. Mean, uh, I really super appreciate it. Uh, if you do see that in his mouth when I show that, don't I? Uh, but anyway, um, and uh, Robin says, uh, thanks. I watch it on iPad, so it's different from viewing on a PC. Just a little bit. You, you don't get the doing button on there. But anyway, uh, you can always watch it back on replay and anything you like. Uh, and there's always thank you as well. There's this thing that uh, YouTube does called thank you. I've never, ever had one of those. Just throwing that one out there as well. Uh, <laughs> subtle hint. Uh, but anyway, where would you like to go next? We have got Galileo. We have got Southampton. Um, with some uh, loose strappings going on there. I won't, I won't go into details. Uh, where should we go? Oh, we, oh, of course, we've got Canada. We can go really up north to Canada. Uh, uh, let's go. We're, we're keeping with the pot. You, were, you mentioned podcast themed. Yeah. I recently listened to two people discuss uh, <laughs> the space CMF. And it's a pretty good discussion. Oh, uh, let's uh, uh, let's go to Southampton. And oh, we're gonna go to Southampton. The there we podcasters. go. <laughs> okay, well, well, how can we describe these two folks? They uh, well, one of them anyway. Some one of them must be doing bedtime stories at the moment. Oh. Uh, they do this thing called a. Uh, they're called the bods. Uh, we found a caravan the other day that had a number plate with the bod on it as well. It was brilliant. They, they, they obviously they love caravans. They really they come from a family of travellers, I think. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, let's bring them on, shall we? Is of course the wonderful Carrie otherwise known as the brick bots hello I don't, I don't know where to start with you greg we are not travelers we don't go in caravans around much you are you live yeah. in southampton you've got caravans coming out of your ear rolls is ian uh <laughs> there we go i've seen a caravan with bod on written on it one holiday at a weird time of year and now apparently we're always it in was Paris. a weird time of year it was, it was in a weird year. place uh, and, and, the, and the weather it was, was terrible. Family. I mean, it wasn't a choice. Yeah, it, it wasn't was, our choice to go there. Just a thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh okay so so uh we, we've got bright switch bricks here we've got liz here as well we've got the brick bots here ian before we carry on any further i need to know what your snacks are tonight because i even saw liz with some snacks earlier on so i'm feeling a bit left out because i'll show you what snack yeah. i've got all right he's got, he's got the cherry cola oh, okay oh, yeah, this is just gulping away uh oh, what are they ginger nuts ginger, ginger, ginger snaps ginger snaps. Oh, oh, so, good stuff Look, they're lighter. Yeah, snaps. Yeah. Mm, they're nice. They won't make a sound, don't they? You might won't pick them up. Uh, anything else, Ian? No, no that's it today. Yeah, All did right, you just see those on the side? Yeah. Yeah. Ian, uh, now, I, I, don't forget, Ian, we've got a little segment that we do with you uh, because he wasn't in the podcast this week. Um, no, we want to know, in, going forward, what the state of the flooring. Now, what I can see of that room so far, the scores are going to be incredibly low this week, folks. They really are. It looks like a bit of a tip in the background there. It looks like a paper recycling yeah. centre. Uh, but anyway, uh, with, with that, with, with that uh, bombshell, Ian, 
Uh, I'm going to ask Ian to this week, actually. Where would you like to go? We, we, we've got two places. We've got, we could go to Canada and meet one of my favourite Canadians uh, who, who, who's wearing a beautiful Czech shirt tonight, I've got to say. Or we could go uh, to Galileo and uh, someone's just wearing a T-shirt. That I've, I, think, I think I've seen him wear once or twice as well, but it's a very cool T-shirt nonetheless. Uh, where well, would you like to go? Well, if we've already seen the T-shirt, then I guess we should go to Canada then. Yeah, yeah we've seen it. I, he always wears it, actually. You probably don't need me. Where's he yeah. in bed? Uh, I have to ask Frankie that next time I see him. Uh, anyway, how can I describe this guy? This guy, folks, right? He's, he's got one of my favourite voices. He'd, make, he'd be really good on a podcast. Just saying. We should all do podcasts. I'm just saying. it. Just throwing it out there. Got Stanayna out there as well. She should do podcasts. She knows loads about me. She really does. Uh, but this guy not only... He's got a brilliant voice. Uh, he's brilliant looking as well, uh, especially wearing a Czech shirt. He also dresses up rather good as a king. Uh, he is, of course, not only the king of Instagram, he is Rick Brickham. No, Hello, mate. no, no. <laughs> Hi, How everybody. You... Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mickey. Uh, how are you doing, Rick? <laughs> I'm okay, you? I'm very good, man. Good to have good. you here. Good to be here. Thanks for asking me back. Yeah, man. It's been, it's been too long. Yeah, it's been ages. It's been a while. I think uh, I think we was in the second lockdown last time you was on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it might possibly, be I don't yeah. know. We have so many. Do you know what? Yeah. It's four. It was only. It was this week. It was four years ago. We had the the, the first lockdown. Uh, wow. Like, blimey. That's mad. That is. Uh, yeah, imagine that now. That'd be a nightmare. But anyway, it'd be, it'd be crazy. But yeah, four years ago. That means I had a hip operation four years ago. So I had my hip operation about mm. a week before the, the whole world just went into lockdown. It was crazy. It just seems like a, a lifetime ago <clears throat> now to me. It uh, does. It does. Anyway, and, and think of all the Lego uh, things that we were doing back then. We all had time on our, uh, time on our side and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, Rick, great to have you here. Uh, Lego Mock and More, loving that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm Thanks, loving the man. background as well. Uh, it looks like you've been doing loads of sorting, uh, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, there's a lot going on here. I apologize for the the mess, but no, uh, no, it, it, it looks like a good mess. It's great, no, loves like, messes. I, I, do, I do, but this is a nice. This almost looks like uh, in comparison to the brick mods, it actually <laughs> looks like a tidy mess. Uh, uh, if there is such well, a it's thing. in bins. It's basically you know, it's in bins. Yeah, that's good. That's it. What exactly is a tidy mess? I mean, well, seriously. Well, that's a that's a messy mess. This is, uh, this is a mess. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a mess. mess. Two and, it's fine. Yeah, and that's a tidy mess. Like it's, it, you know, it's got. It might be just piles of things. Organized but, chaos is what it is. Yes, organized chaos. Love a bit of organized. I got chaos. yelled at by the brick bods last time because I don't oh, have right. mess, but oh. I have mess. Yeah, sorry, brick bods. Uh, let me show you what utopia <laughs> looks like. Uh, oh, whatever. <laughs> it's all utopia. down. It's all my feet. Oh, don't yeah. be coy. Under my desk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and look, even Lauren, just to throw, rub it in your face. Uh, you, you can't it's... see any of my floor. Just wait yeah. till I send in my pictures to the bods, which I will. Yeah. I, I need to make Carrie feel better and seen. <laughs> It's just part of being a Lego fan. It's 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 so <laughs> I just keep buying things and I don't put them away. And I have so many parts. Honestly. This is need, yeah, like a little this mouth. Yeah, we need someone to get. We always need someone to keep us in on a straight line, the narrow line, Rick. Honestly, we really do. Right, where should we go next? Uh, we've only got one other place by default. We've got one other place to go, and then we get our newbie on, folks, uh, which is going to be jolly exciting. Uh, anyway, uh, how can I describe this guy? Uh, I think it was last week. I think it was last week, wasn't it? His cats. Oh my god, his cats had a proper fight. Ever since then, I've been sending him uh, cat fights uh, videos oh, no. uh, and cats sort of kicking off, uh, as well as Jake, because <laughs> Jake was on a few weeks ago. Did not believe me that there was such thing as a pug that could shout out instead of bark and his pug goes batman like that uh, but in pug talk uh, it's more like a batman uh, it's more like that it is rick anyway you got to see it just google it folks you will find it uh, and ever since then i've been sending him uh pugs that have been singing as well they got this, uh, they're, they're, honestly they're, they're, they're like, they're like a, a singing pug wow singing pugs they really do they they it's a, it's 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 a it's a marvel of uh, of the modern age it really is for dogs uh anyway uh this guy is uh he, he's kind of half uh, Galileo, uh, I think that's how they say it. Anyway, uh, it was he, he's he's he, I don't know if he's the half doctor or half the who. I don't know what half the who would even be. Uh, more of a 
uh, than a who. But anyway, this week at Mon Show is, of course, our good friend Gaz, otherwise known as the minifig. Ooh. Hello, mate. Evening. Hello. 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 How are you uh, doing? I, I, I was nearly going to go and get changed then because apparently this is old news, this T-shirt, and everyone's seen it a million times or something. Like, exactly. Yeah. Do, 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 <laughs> can, you, can you either confirm or deny that you do tend to wear that in bed? Um, I haven't actually worn it for ages, to be honest. So. I don't think I've seen it before. So, oh, <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, guys, how are you doing? Anyway, you looking well. You looking rather well. Uh, the hair's mm-hmm. in good shape. How's things? Yeah, yeah, I got it uh, cut the other day. Uh, yeah, yeah no, all good, all good, all good. Um, and I think what I did this week. Uh, oh yeah, we went to see uh, Ghostbusters this week. Oh, it's was good it good? Oh, was it good? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Uh, Rick, you've got the Ecto One behind you. Have you seen the film yet? Uh, no, but I want yeah. to. Yeah, probably. I'd well. like to take the kids. So, have oh, you seen yeah. the popcorn buckets? They're cool. No. There's a Slimer popcorn Is bucket there? that just you like. <laughs> it's a clear green Slimer popcorn bucket, and then they have a ghost trap. Oh, oh wow. it's depending oh, on nice. AMC <laughs> or Cinemark, whichever one. Oh, okay, I don't, oh, they're man. limited. I, I don't know if they'll still have them, but they, that was a cool. Nod to oh, the yeah, that's cool. They they did have pin badges on offer, and I just thought, no, I can't go down that road. I... <laughs> no, <laughs> you don't want to go down that road. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it can only end badly. <laughs> It can, it will. I'm sure this this stream probably will at some point or other. Uh, anyway, before we get to, uh, to to find out what the scores on the floors are uh, for uh, Carrie, mm. I think it's going to be a low one this week. This could be the lowest one ever. Uh, she's she's practically, and she's in her own league of her own, but she's already in the relegation zone as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> uh, Gary out there, he says, uh, I have so much in my second-hand Lego room, I cannot get into him uh yeah i think bricker picks has the same yeah. issue actually she really oh. does um anyway we've got two gay foals out there as well saying oi, oi. good to see you boys uh it goes uh, Manok says i do love sorting lego uh in that actual <laughs> voice as well <laughs> just saying uh hey, I, I I on the stream then oh, <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear it? No, if Monarch was on the stream, I'd have the exposure up so high. All you could see is a mouth and two eyes. Like one of those filters on Instagram. Uh, <laughs> you remember, he constantly looks like there's a nuclear bomb going off in front of him. Uh, but anyway, where should we go? He's, he's, he's constantly got Oppenheimer on uh, uh, on Rewind. Uh, there we go. Yes, he is. He's exactly what he's like. Do you remember that time he came on? He can crack me up. He really does. Uh, and there he goes again. He can't get out of it. Anyway, uh, there we go. Oh, he's loving it. Uh, anyway, where should we go next? I say, let's get, let's get a newbie on, shall we? Let's get a newbie on. Uh, how can I describe her? Well, I, I, I've seen her uh, feature some of our panel members uh, in one of her videos uh, recently. And uh, how can I describe her? Well, she is blonde. Uh, she is rather fab. And, uh, and she's from Cincinnati, which sounds like a devilish place to live. It really does. I have to look it up one day, see where it is anyway uh she is of course the wonderful the talented she loves cats did you know that is of course fab blondies <laughs> hello. hello hello fab hey, Fab. <laughs> how you doing fab i'm doing pretty good okay you, you're, you're and, the new and, and i need to make um i need to let carrie know she is not the only one who is messy because um Oh, let's have a look. I still, it's just, I still don't think it's nothing. Okay. Oh my god, that room's massive. Uh, I didn't okay. Know you you are not alone, Carrie. Yeah, but that there's, there's but you've got piles so of rooms. things. That's the yeah. thing. You got oh, hallmark stuff. Well. Yeah. Just a bit more wonky looking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but okay. Let's have a let's have a look at the, the, the Carrie's den. Uh, it's just a box. But a box, I think I I can okay. I can see about five there. Is, is, is I didn't even see that one. Where did that come from? Uh, <laughs> you, could got, oh, you could have got away with that one, then, Carrie. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. You can see it. It's here. It's this one. All right. Well, look, we're talking about it now. So let's let's, let's go. Let's let's go live to Southampton and our correspondent uh, in the uh, Brick Bods room, <laughs> Ian Ian Bod. Um, <laughs> Ian Bod. Uh, so Ian Bod, what's the, what's the scores? On the floors. It's gonna be low. Um, I'd just like to point out before you give your score. Oh, here we go. The, the managing expectations. Managing not expectations. Really, my thought this week. <laughs> this week. This year, you said year then. You actually said year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the whole year is all it is. Uh, oh. If you score yourself highly because oh. you know it's your fault, I then I'll be. I think it's my fault. 
I will be Thomas, <laughs> and I will be two. Two. He's generous. <laughs> that is generous, man. That is so generous. It, that's a man who's eager for some Easter eggs from his wife this weekend. That's all <laughs> that is. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, he's, he's not getting any. Have you seen the price of Easter eggs? You're not getting an Easter egg. Oh, I'll eat yours then. <gasps> <You're probably laughs> <right>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it. There we go. Ah, uh, oh, there we go. Pass it. Uh, my, my, my wife's the same. She goes, ah, let's not do Easter eggs this year. I'm like, yeah, okay. All right, that's no bad. First thing I did after she said that, within 10 minutes, I got an Easter egg for her because I know if I don't get it, I'm going to be in trouble. So it's backup plan. That's all it is, folks. It's backup plan. Um, anyway, um, Fab, you're the newbie <laughs> on the block here today. Great to have you here. Uh, I've had to be trying to get you. I think I've been wanting you to come on for about a year. I've even been spoken to Lauren about it, but I, it's taken me probably about three months ago, up until about three or maybe two months ago, to sort of uh, muster up the courage to ask you to come on. But tell us who you are uh, and a little bit about yourself as well and uh, why we should tune in to Fab Blondie's Bricks. Well, obviously, I'm fabulous. <laughs> so I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, as Lauren pointed out earlier. So oh, one of those. I got my part of a Harry Potter city going yeah. on over here. Which looks fantastic at the minute, I must say. Mm -hmm. oh, let's have a look that. at that. That does look like... I thought at first I it was a... I can't bring thought, it in any closer. I thought it was a coral reef, but that is actually pretty awesome oh. looking. Look at those trees! Yeah. Lego, that look at those look trees! Really I can good. show some of them a little closer because they're not all attached. Not really Just don't drop it this time, Fab. Oh. Yeah, I'm not dropping this one again. Ooh. I think this was the one that I dropped. Oh, I like that. What's the blue? Yeah. What's, what's the blue disc on there? What's the um, that? So this is for the scene where Harry um, does it, the Expecto Patronum's spell. Oh, well. So I have his. He filled up his car right with here. petrol. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you say he filled up his car with petrol? No, he's doing the expectro, Expecto Patronum spell. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. I'll take your word for it. Uh, and Lawrence, probably. And he's got, he's, I've got his stag here, and then I have a scene right here, which I sent in like a couple weeks ago, where mm. um, the Dementors is sucking out um, Sirius's soul. But then I have this tree too that I love. They're, they're disambiguous, but anyway, moving on swiftly. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> What, what is that? That looks good. I like that. Lovely, yeah, uh, lovely colors. Well, I, I did did the flowers in that color so that they would glow underneath the blue light. Oh, that's cool. I love oh, that. Even oh. though it's kind of hard to see because it's like daylight. <clears throat> Can I just yeah. say, uh, your torch actually, hold that torch up again. It's, it's amazing because it matches the background of today's. Uh, oh, yeah. It's amazing. Well, because... blue and like teal colors are like my favorite colors. Like my walls are almost the exact same color as the light aqua Lego oh. color. But that was purely by coincidence because I painted this room like years before I got into Lego. Mm. So it just happened to be. It was meant to be, I guess. I guess so. Is it? It was written in the stars. Now you've got to tell me as well. Uh, lots of people seem to be into cats. Uh, Gaz is into cats. He's got a peculiarity thing going on with them. Uh, Bright Switch Bricks. She's definitely it, into cats. That's it. Is that good? And uh, it is a cute. Uh, because you're a geezer. Uh, but Fab, you're into cats as well. Uh, I got all this. Has anyone else got cats? Rick, have you got cats? Negative. No, Allergic. Not. Don't mm. like them. Yep, copy I that. Mean, uh, you know. yeah, he's allergic to him. Okay. Okay. I've got one on my lap. He'll <laughs> hear you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so I think all four of like mine are just... like far away right now. Are they? Okay. Uh, I don't know where they are. Somebody oh. might come in. Yeah. Maybe maybe they've got hold of the, <laughs> the lawnmower man uh, uh, for your I, next donation. I, I think he stopped mowing the lawn. He I might actually he have been finished. Yeah, that's it. Good stuff. Thank God. Stuff. Yeah, Liz, I, I, I can't imagine for some reason you're – Room looks so nice and tidy nice. that I can't imagine you have animals at all. It looks too nice. To wow. Have. Yeah. No, I have three big dogs, but they're oh. not allowed up here. Oh. That's it. <laughs> exactly. That's good. exactly. Yeah. All right. Three big dogs. No, I oh. want all the animals. Like, I want a farm with goats and chickens. Do you? And, like, oh, really? Oh, yeah. That would be like my dream. <laughs> are they? Are they Great Danes or like what kind of? No, not breed? that big, okay. but. A uh, black lab, a golden retriever, and a German short-haired pointer. Oh, oh that's a cute trio. Like, I'd say they're combo. like medium-large dogs. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're that's not medium. 
medium to large. Like a great name. That's how my wife describes me, medium to large. <laughs> uh, medium my waistline, medium. of course, is all my waistline. Uh, great day, great Pyrenees. Let's see what else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great balls of fire. Uh, what about them? Uh, so uh, what, what about brick bods? Uh, well, brick bods got chickens. Uh, so uh, I'm, yeah, I'm, just chickens. Do, they, do, you, do you ever bring them in? Like, because they might tidy up. You never know. Do you think the chickens were tidy up? The chickens, I, the I chickens, can imagine the chickens coming in. They're coming in. Pluck, 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 oh, gobble, gobble, gobble. They say. Right, and they're going, what the hell is it going on here? This, 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 right, let's get going with this, lads, and uh, sort it out. Uh, you never know. It might happen. <laughs> so, you know, chickens, the ones that lay eggs, Yeah. Female. Oh, are they? Okay. Well, you, you never know. It might not be a thing for them. They're just called everyone geezers or whatever. Uh, and mates. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said that. Well, anyway, I can't go there. It's too early for that. Um, but yeah, what can I say? Um, anyway, this uh, what's great? Said medium tight, uh, me, me, medium to large and tight. I <laughs> great tight coming from a northerner. I'm not taking that. Uh, anyway, we, <laughs> uh, squeaky. Um, but anyway, uh, okay. So everyone's got. Okay. I, I got to ask as well because I, I'm being really good or trying to be at the moment. Anyway, uh, I got to ask. We've seen Ian. What he's got for his uh, snacks tonight he's got ginger snaps which are very nice and he's got cherry cola well that's what you've got ian what about what carrie what's carrie gonna have um, i've just got my normal squash oh squash that's it about 10 10 gallons Three. of it there we go blimey and then uh, i had one of ian's snacks and they weren't good so i've got no snacks Oh, Ian's got them all to himself then, liking that. Guys, what yeah. have you got tonight for snacks? Any snacks? Any no, snacks? No, 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 no snacks. No, no. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Here we go. Oh, no snacks for Gaz. He must be on a diet. Well. What about you, Fab? You got any? Because uh, you. Just some okay. water. Oh, water. oh, I like that. I like that. Similar to my water bottle, that one is. This one tells me when I should be drinking. Well, I did it the other day because you've got to do it twice. I tell you, was, well, anyway, I had to get up in the middle of the night. Enough said about that. Uh, Bright switch picks. Lauren, uh, other than having uh, the anti inflammatories for your for your ribs, most likely, uh, <laughs> what, 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 what was she got? I, I just have tea and water. Tea and if, water. If oh, I tea, had tea ginger water. snaps, I would eat them. <laughs> yeah. Would you get, I'm uh, with Lauren on that one. Yeah. I'm like, what's he I'm saying? Get it. What's he saying in your mug? Get get it off my desk. <laughs> 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 right, fair enough. Uh, Rick, I mean, you, you 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 got a bit of Boy Scout about you. Any snacks for tonight? <laughs> no snacks, just water. Good just old water. H2O. I mean, what's the matter with us, eh? We're probably the health kick we're on. Uh, <laughs> someone must be coming or something. But, yeah, I've got this. I've got this tonight. Look, I'm, no M&Ms for me tonight or anything like that. It's got a tangerine. Uh, oh. I say? Trying to be good. You didn't um, ask me. I was, I was getting to you. Uh, <laughs> oh, I got all the goods. I got oh, Twizzlers. Oh, my gosh. I got gummy bears. Oh, I tell you're a runner. Honestly. I have tea as well. Dude, water, all right. But... What By the way, I... these two come yeah. like if you put one M peanut M and M. Please, yeah. no jokes of like that's what she said. If you put one M and M peanut M and M and one gummy bear in your mouth at the same time, yeah, it is like the best combo. Oh, <laughs> if you that's like those two true. things. Yeah, that's not true. Uh, all right, fair enough. Uh, that's not true. Uh, <laughs> that's like something out of uh, yeah, yeah, some sort of Jim Carrey thing. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, where should we go? Uh, it's more like Peter things? Griffin. <laughs> Peter, Peter Griffin? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Peter Griffin. Peter Griffin. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, Quagmire. Um, oh, Quagmire, yeah. Oh, God, what did Quagmire used to say? Uh, giggity, giggity. <laughs> Giggity, 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 giggity. Yeah, I always get him mixed up. He's sort of like your modern day. What, what was that? Uh, the, the, oh God, what was his name? Buck Rogers in the 21st century. There was a robot. Oh, Tweaky. Tweaky. What did Tweaky used to say? It's a similar thing, wasn't it? Was it bitty, bitty, bitty? Yeah, bitty, bitty, nice one, Buck, or something like that. He said, yeah, really anyway, deep voice, wasn't it? Yeah, are they one of the same person? That's what I want to know. They could be. They could be. Um, anyway, be careful there, Fab. Don't they smash the room up while we're here? Uh, <laughs> did you? There wasn't a cat, was it, by any chance? No, I got a IKEA box thing underneath that I keep like some of my equipment, and I use it as a footrest. <laughs> Oh, Carrie's just going, look, there's another one. There's another one. Uh, I love it. Oh, Carrie's... the other side of my desk looks horrendous. I'll send Carrie a picture later. 
the, 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 the men on this stream are like nice and tidy. The, the women are like, <laughs> like well, other than Liz, of course. Uh, well, you can't grow yeah. up with a hoarder, so it's kind of hard for me to break the trend, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Grow up with a hoarder. Yeah. I right. do the best I can. Uh, I like that. <laughs> I'll do the best I can. Uh, the same Texas. Uh, it's all like country western all the moment. Everyone's all around. Uh, all I keep saying, uh, isn't it? It's all country western stuff at the moment. Uh, lovely. It'd be a bit, a bit the old Beyonce. Uh, right. Anyway. Anyway. So Fab Blondies, you, you, we've ascertained that you like cats. Uh, yep. you, you've got a thing about Harry Potter trees as well. Purple ones. I've quite got well, to the bottom Harry of that. Potter in general. Yeah. Uh, in fact, why do you like Harry Potter so much? Why, why, why should I be interested in Harry Harry Potter? For me, it's an escape, and it's to get away from reality. So that's why I like it. And I just grew up liking like magical things and magic in general. Oh yeah. And like, I mean, I wasn't a kid when they came out. I was an adult when the books came out. But I didn't even find out about the books until like half of them had been released, and I think some of the movies had already been released. But one of the people that I was working with, she um, she introduced me to the books. And I was just like, yeah. say what? <laughs> and ever since, what? I've been like, hello, Harry Potter. How are you today? <laughs> if I get upset, I watch Harry Potter. If I'm sad, I watch <laughs> Harry Potter. If I'm happy, I watch Harry Potter. When yeah, I was yeah. working. I often have trouble would, reading women as it is. I listen to Harry <laughs> Potter while I was working. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Oh, that's really. awesome. Yeah, I mean, that so, is... To say I mean, that I'm a Harry Potter fan would be an understatement. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. well, mm -hmm. What's your favourite thing about Harry Potter? The, the one thing that you say, I cannot live without this, uh, as far as I'm concerned with Harry Potter. I mean, for me, it's the whole thing. Is it it's really? all of it. It's all of it. Blimey. It's all of it. It's greedy. Uh, I am greedy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't care. Who's your favourite character? Favourite character? Oh. Well, see, I kind of have to break it down between favourite student and favourite professor and favourite... Like oh, here we go. All right, go go. On. Give it to us then, Fab. Give it to us. Favorite student is Hermione. Favorite professor is McGonagall. Favorite villain is um, Bellatrix. Favorite parent is um, Molly Weasley. Yeah. Ah, okay. That's quite cool. Uh, and and uh, uh, Lauren, I, I need your thoughts on that as well. Huh? <laughs> 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 um i have you know what my favorite character that i would not live without is is just hermione like i'll i'll take everything else and then also what the fans have done in the fan fiction realm and the rewriting i'm much more instead of the canon of harry potter I'm much more like almost the culture and the, the feeling of it and how uh, okay. how uh spoiled lego does harry potter fans compared to a lot of other fandoms they I, I think they do a really good job and there's just so much you can do with pieces and i just want more and more of the new pieces that come out it's a lot of fun it's yep. it's it, it's fantastic so anyone else on the panel like harry potter stuff rick you, yeah. you kind of strike me as someone who dabbles with a bit of hp yeah so i was introduced um, to Harry Potter by a cousin of mine um, shortly after the third movie came out and he gave me um, like a book on tape but it was on CD mm -hmm. and it was of the first uh, first movie first book and I listened to it on my drive home from Quebec which is a seven hour drive so I listened to a good amount wow. and just fell in love with mm -hmm. the story and then ended up watching the movies that were out at the time and then everyone after that I've seen the whole thing so it's great. I love it. It's uh, I love the progression of the characters as the movies go on. Yeah. The story is fantastic. I've always been a fan of of uh, like Fab Blondie's. I've always been a fan of magic and fantasy. So it, it works within that realm. Per I mean, it's perfect. You know, it's, it's exactly that. So it's well, great. So, so you, Rick, you must be a fan of this Dungeons and Dragons. That's, that's well, I am a fan of Dungeons and Dragons, but I'm not crazy about the sets and the fig really? things. Yeah. Okay, what, what about the CMS series? Have you have you seen the, the I have the, the, the figs that are coming out? The figs are yeah. yeah, I like them. Well, we can get into it when we get into them if you want. Yeah, to. okay, that's good, man. Interesting. I like that. Oh, he's, 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 he's creating tension. I like that. Uh, good stuff. But anyway, Rick, tell us uh, tell us how you've been. Anyway, how's things how's things with you? Uh, what have you been up to in the last couple of weeks or so? 
Well, in the last couple of weeks, not much with regards to Lego. Unfortunately, just had some stuff going on that's kept me away from it. But the uh, first couple of months of the year were pretty explosive. I got into some um, of my my goals for this year, which were to build my digital mocks in real life and also get mm -hmm. sorted. And as you can see, the sorting is uh, not really happening right now. Yeah, yeah. There we go, Carrie. That's how you do slow, sort of slow, thing. very slow go. process. Yeah. Uh, the mock thing is happening though. So I've already got two built, and I've got a third one on on the go. So very excited about that. I want to have, oh my gosh, at least half of them. And there's a good 20 or so built this year. So yeah, wow. it's been nice. And I'm having a lot of support from the community, which is great. I yeah. put out, every time I want to build one, I put out a vote and ask for everybody to tell me which one to build. And then I order the parts and build it. So it's really working out nicely. Yeah, that's good, man. That's a good way of sort of dipping into the community and getting their feedback. Yeah, getting people involved. Yeah. Notoriously, they like to get the most expensive ones built. That's always, <laughs> it's always the thing. It's, it's, that's, it's never fun. Yeah. So I'm trying to keep the, the voting the voting groups uh, as equally like cost effective as possible, but there's some big ones coming that I know will cost me several hundred dollars in parts. Yeah, like it. the Bates Mansion, for, for instance, will be... Oh. Bates, Bates, as in Bates, as in Psycho. As right? in Psycho, yeah. Mm -hmm. Really? Oh. Dude, that, that, that is six thousand pieces. Six thousand. That sounds yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. If you ever did instructions, that sounds like Rick. more than a couple. Oh. Yeah. That yeah. sounds like oh, yeah. way more hundreds, than a couple hundred. Hundreds, hundreds of dollars. It's going to be amazing. It's my favorite black and white movie. It really is. Love See, that the, and I'm trying to debate whether or not to do it in black and white. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, that would be some nice. color. Now, right yeah. now, it is it is kind of monochrome in color. Mm -hmm. The yeah. roof I had done in red, but I'm thinking about black instead, or maybe a dark bluish gray, just because I like that black and white yeah. look. Too. I mean, it's classic, right? So, oh, I, yeah. I love the film. The film is just me too. It's a classic. A uh, Hitchcock. Yeah. I mean, you know, you, yeah. you yeah. not blood, mother, not blood. But anyway, <laughs> but I love it. Honestly, it's such a good film. It's yep. um, and it's oh, it, it, yeah. it's what it does with your mind more than anything. The, yes. the, the psychological things behind yep. that. Oh, I love uh, what I, yeah. I I had never seen the first one before I saw. Actually, I saw Psycho Two before I saw oh, Psycho oh, One. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Psycho Two is very good film as well. Uh, yeah, uh, not not bad, but that film uh there's a there's a scene in that film that had my skin crawling and it's when the the two teenage the teenage kids go into the basement to try and have some fun i don't know oh, if, they're, yeah. if they're going to the house to see what's in the house or what but they're in the house and of course he comes yeah. down and, and comes after them and, and they're trying to get out the small little window and the logs are slipping and yeah he ends up getting stabbed and it just had all the hairs on the back and i thought what is this i've never and, and then i <laughs> yeah man and and he, won, well, I, I think um what was the name of the actor um oh anthony something wasn't anthony it? Perkins. perkins perkins yeah. yeah uh what a brilliant actor but even up to like the really recent ones that they did um where he kind of got into a relationship and he was worried because he was thinking about having children and stuff like that it was it was a proper it went really deep into psychology and stuff mm -hmm. like that Liz mm -hmm. you might want to see that as well it was mm. really there was a pretty really sad for him I there was actually that. a tv show about it as well on was it Netflix or Prime I forget yeah is that the was. Bates Motel wasn't it yeah Bates yeah. Motel yeah exactly. really it's good really good. yeah yeah amazing wow. it was leading up to the first movie was it not yeah, yeah that's uh, right because I think yeah the last season i think she's she is as she is in the film <laughs> without oh, spoiling it too much right <laughs> yeah. right right oh yeah i just had a look at that mock as well and it looks absolutely amazing so yeah no that i remember seeing i remember seeing it a couple of years ago i think when you did it Rick. uh mm. it might be during covid or something like that but yeah those are the days um now just uh, just going back from from psycho from psycho killers uh qu'est-ce que c'est uh to uh martin andrews uh madly is uh he's, he's asking martin. Uh, there we go it, 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 there was even a reference to that in season two of reacher just saying uh hmm. and craigster i can't I, I now know why you like season two so much as well just saying uh we'll chat about that later <laughs> uh my energy says okay favorite hp set uh everybody uh my my favorite hp set i'm gonna just for diagon alley actually gringotts is close <clears> and you can <throat> say it's part of it but i'm gonna go diagon alley i had such a blast building that um Rick, have you built one recently? I don't have any of the new Harry Potter sets. I have a whack load of the very first sets that came out from the early 2000s, which I got in a bulk lot. And one of the sets in that has Fluffy in it, the original Fluffy. The original one. The one that actually yes. looks like a dog with yes. three heads. Oh, yes. Yeah, I got you. yes. And that's probably of 
my sets. That's probably my favorite. It's got the trap door with Fluffy and and yeah, I forget what the set's called, the Chamber of Secrets or something. I forget. Too. That, that no. sounds very Harry Potterish. That does. I've got to be yeah. honest. Um, let's go up to um, Liz. Have you ever built any Harry Potter sets? Oh yeah, I'm a big Harry Potter fan. Um, <laughs> yeah, I have. So I have Hogwarts in. Sorry. Over there. Go. Sorry, this sorry, is everybody's stuff. Oh, sorry, box. Sorry, nice big tidy box. It looks, it looks good in the box. It's hard to open it when it looks that good. <laughs> exactly. So, also, much easier. It's a very good for dust there, control. I have <laughs> yeah, uh, the Weasley's house, and then I have some brickheads, and then Shrinking Shack, and then. Oh, yeah. Monster Triple Book of Monsters. I have mm-hmm. Haggard's Hut. I have the Mermaid uh, Tri Wizard Tournament Stand. Um, mm-hmm. I have all the CMFs up there, right there. <laughs> That's, um, awesome. That's cool. And then I have a lot in boxes. Like I have, hmm. I have Diagon Alley in a box. I have. Gringotts in a box. <laughs> oh, you need to build it. So one. I have, uh, yeah, I have a lot. Oh, you need to build Gringotts. Good. I had a lot of fun with I'm Gringotts. a proud I'd Ravenclaw, say. in case anyone was wondering. Okay. Nice. Ah. Did the hat tell you? No. <laughs> uh, Actually, I don't yeah. know if the hat. Yeah, it must have. Yeah, you've got to get yeah, the hat. The hat is good, man. Yeah, uh, but it works. The hat is good. Uh, the hat is good. I, I, I like it. Have you seen it, Rick? Have you seen it? In I have, movie? yeah. Yeah, I think so. I, I would good. like to see a real life one, and I'd like to see some fun stuff done with the hat as well, or the mm-hmm. the sound box, or, or rather the sound brick. I think they call it. Uh, but anyway, let's let okay. ask uh, Lauren then. Lauren, this is this is probably a question that you get asked at least twice a day um, by doctors and nurses, and maybe even patients. I don't know. But what is your all time? My favorite? day would be much better if I was asked that. <laughs> yeah, uh, could you imagine? <laughs> Uh, so, so what? What is? Uh, what, what is your favorite Harry Potter uh, set? It's hard. Um, I mean, my go-to, my core favorite is the original two thousand one Castle because oh, it okay. was just it. It's what started it all back mm-hmm. when I got it, and it's still my the favorite beginning. Christmas yeah. present. It's just yes. one of those core memories yeah. that um, is formed, and, and all the joy spreads from that like source. Uh, but honestly, runner up this this train. I know a lot of people don't like it. I really like the UCS Hogwarts train, and I have I have plans on extending yeah. it. Oh yeah! Wow. Oh, really? so, what you're gonna make it worse? Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> I am. I am. I am oh, I want the platform to be larger, and I have more carriages. I will have some engine and coal cars available if anyone wants <laughs> is, would be interested in just the engine and a coal car to display oh, if oh, okay. the train is too large i'm probably mm. going to bring a couple of those to um chicago just in case anyone oh, was yeah, interested okay. uh, but that's i i really like it i just i think it was someone's it was got nice. to i know, I know. someone's I'm, I'm got to exactly <laughs> and that's gonna be me <laughs> <laughs> I, I know somebody else say. who likes that train too. Uh, the, uh, Chris, uh, 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 who's that? Chris, who's that? one brick stud. Yeah, one brick stud. Okay, yeah, but he so likes he all Harry Potter. Not alone. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, okay, then, Fab. What about you, Fab? What, what, what's uh, well, what's your what's your opinion on the uh, on the infamous train? Well, I haven't built it yet, so I can't oh. have an opinion on it. It does look nice, though. I do okay. like. Yeah, but I haven't built. No, but you're gonna be. <laughs> she's reserving what, can we, judgment. Can we get a demonstration of it here today. Yeah, we can start <laughs> building it today. Uh, but anyway, uh, then, uh, yeah, that's fine. She's reserving judgment. I like that. Um, what about you then, uh, guys? What, what fa- favorite Harry Potter set that you've built? If, if any, I can't remember you building any. Um, Indiana Jones. I uh, think I quite like the Great Hall that came out in twenty. Is it twenty? Two thousand eighteen. No. Yeah, oh, God, yeah, 2018. God. I think yeah, it was 2018. Yeah. I think yeah. it was 2018. Yeah, I really like that one. Just, just it's really good. Just little details on it, and nice. loads and loads of figures of that one as well. Mm. Just um, wait for the next Greedle. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I quite actually like 
um, Hagrid's hut, the one that Liz has got as well, the old mm. one. That yeah. one, that's quite nice. It's quite because I quite like the book more of uh, Prisoner of Azkaban, and that just is just you know representative of that film. Mm. And sure. Actually, and that's meant to be a very good set. The new, the new, even the new version of that is meant to be exceptionally oh, good. Yes, yeah. the new Hagrid set's so cute, and the figures we get in it, we finally have Fang, we have new Norbert, and a new Hagrid, and a new Hagrid. Oh yeah, get new oh, Hagrid yeah. as well. Yeah, and we have new yeah. tiles. Good so, yeah, uh, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, okay, cool. Um, Brick bods, do you do you guys ever build Harry Potter bits and pieces? Uh, I know they're not super, super colourful, colorful. but Harry, got nice Harry browns and beiges. Yeah, I have I have loads of Harry Potter sets. I tend to only get the ones that have like buildings. <laughs> I'm all about the buildings. Mm -hmm. um, but See, I you've got the books. You've done the books, haven't you? I've done the books. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like sets where they all connect as well. So yeah. that's what the books got me. Um, oh, but I think yeah. our favourite set is probably the micro scale one. Mm. That's a really, yes. really good one. Yeah. yeah. Just because once it's finished, it just looks so nice on the shelf as well. Everyone loves that. It's, 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 it's not the big one. It's not the big one. Yeah, the, 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 little, the, the, the yeah. smaller <laughs> micro scale. Yeah. The micro uh, what? Scale. There's a smaller than a micro scale there is. one. Yeah. There's the one that fits There's on a micro the micro scale. It's the one on, well, both of them are on shelves right now. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's the but new it's, one. Yeah. A okay. Yeah, that was going thirty-three percent off this week. I saw that, which is great. It's oh, a good. Wow. I'm trying to be good and not buy much Lego. Uh, and I bought three sets today, so the, yeah, that's uh, gone out of the window straight is, away. Uh, is the big one retired now? No, it's no. still it's out there. Available. Available. Oh that God. has been retiring for three years. Yeah, yeah so is that Millennium Falcon behind you, bud? Yeah, it really has. <laughs> <happened, actually. laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, I know, but this is iconic. I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Iconic, right there. Let me have it. Yeah, let me have it. Right there. That is if iconic. I, yeah, that, if I had look, the choice, she puts Green Got stickers on straight, and she thinks it's oh, a big, man. you know. Uh, anyway, um, actually, yeah, talking to Green Got stickers, Fab, you've you, you've um, built that set, haven't you? You've done Green Gots. Yeah, that's my favorite set yeah that's a good one all Second right we got one, there in the end that one good stuff oh there we go let's have a look it was it just above your head there we go yep. oh there we go Oh, wow, it's in a box. Yeah. Oh, that's that's oh, my stuff until green gods came out that was my favorite set and then green gods came out and yeah it, it yeah now, i'll, I'll you go ask you so if I'll you don't like you. that anymore i'll take it off your hand <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. that's okay yeah no, I've got, I still I've like got a, Harry Potter. I know. Oh, I, I want to extend my Moss Eisley set that I've got. So if you don't mm. want that Harry Potter set, I'll tell you. And I love a bit of beige. What can I say? Uh, anyway, uh, sorry. Uh, we, uh, I, I just observed something. I spotted something in your room. Two things, actually. Uh, okay. Do you mind changing your camera? Uh, make it go up again. That's what I said. You know, uh, your two things. You've got Hallmark things in there as well. They look quite nice. Um, Lauren's got me into those things. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. That there. What's that? Is that a Harry Potter one? It looks like a bit uh, like No, a that is actually the Haunted Mansion. The mm -hmm. Hornet Mansion. Oh, it's yeah. like a tree topper. Yeah. Hornet it mansion. is the tree topper one. And nice. then I have one of the ornaments here, and then two of the ornaments are in the other room. All right. They're Christmas ornaments, are they? Mm -hmm. Uh, Sure. Okay. Good. <laughs> well, so, someone, <laughs> you know, Easter like, ornaments. Someone wished me a Merry Easter today uh, in an Adidas outlet. So I'm just saying, or Adidas, as you Americans like to call it. So uh, to, to, to the right of your case uh, you've got over there, or just north of your microphone, is that a face or is that something that goes on someone's torso? That right there? Yeah, it looks like, it looks that like either armor or, or it looks like a face. Maleficent mask. Okay. Yeah. For Halloween. That's really cool. Because she's like my favorite character because I have like a whole, well, she's my favorite Disney villain. I have like a whole little Maleficent oh, section right there. Disney, very cool. Not and that's like not even there, half of what I have. That's just what I could get out. She's a holder. Uh, she really is. <laughs> uh, my mother was a whore. Oh, did you? I'm a recovering. I'm recovering from the trauma of having a mother for a hoarder. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, I can be careful how I say that. Uh, right. Okay. Good stuff. Anyway, uh, I think I, I think we've been around everyone. We spoke about Harry Potter. Great, great question there, uh, Martin. Yeah. Uh, is Martin changed to Martin Andrews from Madlib, or is he just using a different account? I'm not quite sure there. Uh, anyway, Craig's done. Let's see what they're saying in the in the in the chat. Craig stays past. She goes, "I prefer Newt as a character. Uh, I caught a Newt once when I was fishing, and uh, find finding way more interesting than." Other characters. I wonder what that is. Uh, he is they go, a Harry, uh, because what? Sorry. 
He is a good character. He's a very good character. Uh, uh, Craig is a good judge of character. Uh, <laughs> one brick start. He goes, uh, Lego Harry Potter is still one of, one of the most successful and popular themes. It keeps giving and giving. And guess what? It's going nowhere. Uh, that's, very, that's a very defensive uh, thing Amen. to say, isn't it? That is. Uh, I'm just saying. Uh, uh, you know, the Brick Larry kid, uh, Love Snape, Alan Rickman was an awesome actor. Oh, oh yeah, he was. He, yeah, he was. Yeah. He was. He really very, was. Very good. Uh, Snape in Die Hard. Brilliant. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, right. So, Snape, who, who are we thinking of? Little old lady, uh, says Miss Sandby. Uh, Gazza, he goes on to say, I remember reading the books before the films. Uh, and Alan Rickman is exactly how I picture Snape, uh, Brick Larrikin. Uh, one Brick starts says Snape plus Alan Rickman equals goat. Uh, it really does. Miss Amby goes on to say, says, I was always uh, more Lord of the Rings fan than Harry Potter, and that's only because my family hated Harry Potter, so I unfortunately never got to oh. watch it. Well, there yeah. we go, see? Those were the days. Yeah, and, 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 <laughs> and earlier on, by the way, folks, Rick mentioned... Um, uh, DVDs and uh, CDs. Well, in, just to stop you having to Google what those are, uh, <laughs> compact discs. Uh, ask your parents or your grandparents, or what might be the case. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. I still got on my collection, I tell you, Rick. Uh, I, I'm more excited about D and D set oh, than God. I have been uh, about a new Lego set for a while. Even more so after watching Jesse and the gang playing it. Indeed, and do check it out, folks. Jesse's Brick Galaxy uh, is a brilliant stream. It really was. It's had over a thousand views at the moment. So get, get yourselves Excellent. over there. And check it out i know it's brilliant and it was very very good okay i was sort of dipping in and out of it uh rebecca barter uh i built the rebrickable baits oh there we go there's a rebrickable baits uh that's very very cool um, <laughs> gary from ireland goes on to say says my bedroom is also the build room where i build all my marks and it's always messy Oh, yeah, I can get that. Uh, we've got uh, Brick Hive out there. Good to see you, Brandon. I uh, hope you've, uh, hope you've had a good week, my friend. Uh, I haven't heard from you a little bit lately. Uh, yo, what's happening, everyone? Brick Steen, all the way from New Zealand. Then we've got, we've got uh, Baltimore out there and, of course, New Zealand. Very, very cool uh, parts of the world. Uh, what was it? We've got Lady McBrick as well, obviously, all the way from uh, Deutschland. Uh, Brick Steen, hello, Rich. How are you? Uh, hey, TJ. Uh, Johnny G's out there as well. Johnny G, good to see you, my friend. Um, and there he is, Brick Hive, saying hello, London Bridge Bricks. Good to see you, mate. We've got Cabbage Face out there, too. Uh, Johnny G saying, uh, yeah, like uh, like what you like and be proud. Yeah, there's no wrong with that. Uh, and there's no right. There's no wrong. Uh, we just love the brick. Uh, worse, uh, Badumts, says uh, Lego Team B. And hey, Brick Hive, says one Brick Star. Hope you're well, my friend. Right, where should we go next? Blimey, we, we, should we have a look at some new minifigures? Uh, we've got this new series coming out. Uh, and uh, to, to quite a lukewarm reception. Mm -hmm. Now, before we do have a bit of a dive into them, uh, let's just go around the panel and to see. Does, is everyone on the panel aware of the new space theme that's coming out? Mm -hmm. Don't worry, we're not going to go D&D &D or anything like that. We're not that sort of stream. Um, is everyone's aware of the space uh, figures that are coming out, yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah? Everyone's nodding. That's good. That's a good start. Uh, thank God I get professionals on this stream. Um, uh, Brickbods, uh, are you a fan of the new space ones? So in the series is without like a theme, uh, the space ones are always what we refer to as filler. So oh, this is filler. like a whole thing of filler for us. But there are some that we quite like. But, yeah. um, okay. So you no, quite like Not them, really. Right? <laughs> I just, I'm just trying to get a, a, a sense of where the panel is with what how they feel <clears> about them. <throat> now, Ian... And I was a bit surprised by this week's Brick Bods podcast because Ian actually hates minifigures. He hates mini dolls as well. Uh, yeah, he seemed to... Uh, he had quite a lot of interesting things to say about it this week. I don't say I hate minifigures or mini dolls. I just don't care for them at all. Okay. Yeah. So... Right, if, if it's about buying a set, he won't be using the minifigures to work out whether he buys it or not. Yeah. Like, it's not exciting to you. Which is weird because like, they're kind of a yeah. key part. Um, yeah. Uh, Ian, uh, I did hear rumours as well, uh, rumours that you may be getting uh, carry uh, a, a, a German football team for Easter <laughs> this year. Is that, can you, can you uh, deny or confirm? Um, no, that, that, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, I didn't even try to milk yeah. that one out. All right. uh, Liz... I'm very clear on Ian's feeling about the German football yeah. team. Yeah, I know. He's in... Can you name three people from the German football team. Yeah, German footballer number one. German footballer number two. Yeah, and goalkeeper. Uh, goalkeeper has to be Hans. Mm. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> uh, okay, good, good start. Liz, uh, at the moment, where do you stand at the moment with the CMS series, the new Space CMS series? Um, I didn't really think that I would care about them that much, but then I started looking through them and I was like, I really like them. Um, because I love the paranormal and alien stuff. So I was really happy to see the little aliens in there. Cause I think there's like two or three, maybe more aliens. Um, so I like those. And then I like the mini space babies or just the space baby, not the mini. <laughs> space get a pink one. Yeah. The, the, the mini one. Yeah. That'd be even smaller than the, the current one. I think. Yeah. Uh, I think they're cute. Yeah. You think they're cute. All right. Yeah, the space babies. Uh, Wait, have they come out with a CMF space series before? Well, there's a, there's a little bit of contradiction mm -hmm. going on from Lego about it. Some people would call them space babies. Some people call them just small space mini so, figs. Yeah, it, it depends on the face. Yeah. So there are some the faces that uh, yeah, make them look like babies, <laughs> and there are some that make them just micro, micro space men. I don't get it. I think they're just making it a bit more confusing. Uh, Matt's out there. Matt, Matt, do us a favour. Feed it back. Feed it back. It's very confusing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so Liz is okay. She's she's warming warming to them. I like that. I like that. Gaz, uh, you love space. Um, I personally think they. I, I think they've missed a trick on two things. One, we should have had a, a, a classic space figure in there that was a color that we've never had before. And secondly, we could have thrown out uh, been slightly skew with given us a strange Star Wars figure, maybe even something that resembled Star Trek, maybe even a Doctor Who. Uh, but at the <laughs> moment, where, where do you stand? Let me know what you guys and girls out there think about um, it as well. But where do you stand, Gaz? Um. I'm not too sure. I mean, that, for some of them, I'm a bit, uh, okay. But then there are a couple there that are really good as well. So, like, I'd love the Mtron one. Um, I've got, yep. actually got some old Mtron up there somewhere. Um, uh, the Blacktron one's actually quite cool. Um, I didn't realise that he's got, like, a double arm um, until I saw someone have, like, a closer look. Yeah, so, you know, like, the Stitch figure's got, like, the, mm. the arm, mm -hmm. but it's two arms. He's got he's that, got but it's looking green. So it's cool. like one side of him's been like taken over by an alien, Ooh. which is actually quite cool because that's a bit like uh, the Ark in Space from 1974. Um, but I also like that they've got a nice planet reference and they've got the classic space logo on the traditional looking astronaut as well. So there are little touches in there, like little mini Easter eggs in there like that, like quite like. And also one of them's got the bottom half that you can use to make a robot from Lost in Space. So, oh yes yeah, we chatted about that didn't oh, we yeah it'll be nice yeah, so. yeah. Oh, that, that is what well, that was a, a an amazing robot it really is terrible yeah. getting upstairs but anyway it's a good robot yeah, uh, right. i think that, at one point his legs split in half he could actually walk at one point no favor really uh, yeah oh my god uh I don't, yeah. imagine that it was an epiphany moment for uh for a robot isn't it? Uh, <laughs> fab uh current feelings about the new cmf series eh yeah, uh, yeah, um, yeah, a bit meh. Yeah. Like, a couple of them are cute. Like I like the little, like I like the little dog, and then I like the vacation alien one. But other than that, I'm, yeah, the space yeah. baby cute too. Yeah, it's cute. It's, it's probably, a space baby. Might just be a little space thing. I'll probably know. just try to get like a couple of them. I probably won't try to get all of yeah. them. Just well, but to scan them. Yeah. I'll probably get the. I'll probably wait to get the vacation one, and then. I don't know. I'll try to figure out something for the dog. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the dog. Uh, oh, there is a penguin as well. The space penguin is quite good. What, what, oh, what yeah. Do you I want the penguin too. Yeah, I want the penguin. Oh, yeah. I could do an army of uh, space penguins. Uh, yeah, I'm still thinking friends. Uh, a friend for Apollo. Just throwing that one out there, folks. <laughs> uh, if you know, you know. Uh, Bright Switch Bricks, what do you think? Current feeling about the space CMF series before we sort of take a look at them? I barely have any CMFs, and it's just not. CMFs really aren't my thing. <laughs> Unless uh, Harry Potter or Magic, oh, yeah. but I what I enjoy most about CMFs is seeing the possibilities with minifigures. Yeah, and probably like the one I would want is this all translucent blue guy. Like this, is this is this is are these premonitions of Force Ghosts? Like, listen, if you can do this, know, yeah. if you can do this, <laughs> do not tell us that we cannot have Force Ghosts. Yeah, okay. And that would that's, be a good CMS series on his own. That, that, that's what it comes down to. But that's <laughs> that's definitely, I don't know what he's supposed to be. Like, I, I want to know his name. I, I don't know what some of them are meant to be as well. It's just like, it's, it's bizarre. It's like, is it some sort of uh, uh, space uh, star installation or something? I don't know. It also somehow lacks, even. <laughs> I understand what they're trying to do, but somehow it lacks cohesion somehow. Yeah. yeah I know like, it, it just feels like, 
I'm all, like, it looks fun. It's certainly yeah. fun. I really like the alien green head guy with like, just this, like just the little UFO head. Like that's fun. They look fun, but there's some duds. And then it's just, well, there, there's not that line of just we're, kind we're of looking like, at them in just a sec. They just, just wanted to get your feelings. I want to know what you guys and girls, your feelings on them are right there. Rick, uh, just uh, before we take a dive into <clears> them, what, what was your current feeling about <clears> them? Um, first impression was there was a lot going on. There's mm -hmm. a lot of different colors and textures. Very busy looking minifigs. Mm -hmm. But there are a couple that I that I uh, really love. And I think they're the same as what's been mentioned in the translucent and also that that space um the stars with the spaceship on top for the head yeah it's very like the ufo let's for the head very cool let's take a look at them shall yeah we? there we go uh because you're getting hassled from people out there saying <clears throat> uh put the picture up put the picture up uh, we can Come take on. a look at these look, there we go so let's uh let's have a look at this uh, so this is on uh, brick fanatics and go over there folks it's uh uh let's see if we can get this to uh da, da, da. enhance enhance there we go <laughs> enhance mode uh <laughs> hailing all frequencies hailing all frequencies here we go uh so this is it um there we go We've got a, a space person we got someone a minifig that's kind of uh taken over by little aliens which sounds a bit weird um we've got um, holiday yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah i'm just looking for one that's outstanding uh I mean, for me, the, 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 the UFO head with the star body is kind of like really cool. Yeah, great idea. like that one. I like yeah. that. I want to know, everyone out there in the chat, what's your favorite one out there? Um, and the, the, the one with the double arms, it's a shame because it's cool, but you're only getting it for the right arm. So you're going to want yeah. that left <laughs> arm. For the, for the yeah. OCD people out there like myself, I want to make it with both sides and <laughs> I won't be able to. It's bizarre, isn't it? Why you got that two arms on one side? I mean, what's all that about? Well, it's a mutation it... as I... As yeah. I, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, I can see his leg now. <clears throat> can oh, you I zoom see. in there a bit? I can't. Oh, there we can. Actually, there we go. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There you oh, go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, it's amazing. It's amazing how to use a mouse. I've never used one. Yeah, before. it's pretty cool. They have a scroll. <laughs> there. oh, nice. Nice. There's some... I mean, there's some really... Uh, some good ideas in these as well. I mean, the, the uh, guy... Uh, at the top, I think it's the second one from the left, one with the little robots. It's quite clever because they've Inside got the face. Yeah, yeah, they're meant yeah. to be like driving them, aren't they? Like, yeah. So he's yes. a mech. He's a mech. Is that yeah. what he's saying? He's a mech. Yeah. Okay. So it's oh, right. quite a nice. Idea. Why? Why has she got a pug? What's all that about? Is, is pug a space dog? Pugs in space. <laughs> yeah. It looks like some weird eyes. Yeah, yeah no, good to see. Um. All right. The, 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 so, this is i'm assuming this is m tron because he's got a great big yeah. m across his chest um like they've, got, they've got space baby uh, with some sort of strange android as uh as that's a, cool. Probably a nanny yeah that's a cool looking thing yeah. like a nanny. a nanny droid a robot like nanny yeah. i think that's what you want one, well that's <laughs> true actually it would be good wouldn't it because like you could, yeah well maybe i don't know i'm not sure um but uh i, I like galaxy guy i'm gonna call him that ufo mm -hmm. number seven uh, yeah. yeah number seven number eight i think number eight is probably my favorite because yeah she's got, there's a lot of the, she's decked out yeah, she is and she's planet isn't it one yeah. of that. Yeah, they, they are decked out <laughs> She gives the Mandalorians a run for their money, that's for sure. Like her hair as well. Okay. That's a new piece. I'm sure that's a new piece. Um, Looks like a Halo character. Yeah, the helmet's fantastic. The helmet, wow. yeah. helmet penguin. Yeah, um, it reminds me of the Transformers store. or something like that. It's like a Transformer thing. There we go. Got, oh, yeah, that's I mean, from... Um, what's this Iceland. purple geezer all about? What's that? What's that? It's got a club, a shield, and... Uh, what's going on? Is it meant to be Orion or something? Number 11. Is he a star in? I keep oh, that, is, an, that is a constellation. There, the constellation is what I keep. Is, it might be Orion. Hmm. I can't I, tell. It looks like a triangle. Yeah, I think that is Orion on the shield. It's in there, yeah. There's another picture. Yeah, there's a belt. It, that's his bottom of his tunic, and then there's the belt, and then I bet I it's another Orion's a belt, isn't it? There. It's yeah, quite like good. you know the end of Crash of the Titans when they all end up as stars. It's kind of like that a bit, isn't mm -hmm. it? It's quite cool. I can see that. That's good. Um, the alien looks quite good as well. He's got, he's got, he's got a oh, purple thing. thing. They're well. getting the use out of those legs, aren't they? God, they are. They are. And uh, the robot. I do like the robot as well. Albeit, is this a robot or is this? It looks like it's some sort of futuristic food mixer or something like that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's just a thing. It's got mandibles. It has. 
No, it looks like it's got mandibles. Let's have a look at the next yeah, picture. Yeah, What's yeah. the next picture? There we go. Oh, look, we've got instruction manual for the uh, for this. Let's have a look at this. There we go. So this is how you build a, an Mtron figure. Oh, wow. The astronaut what looks really good. She's yeah. good. Hmm. There's a lot on that one. Pieces along yeah. with yeah. That is a girl. lot for that astronaut. That is a less. Wow. Yeah. Uh, but there, but there, uh, Miss Ambie says, um, <laughs> why, why does the guy with the green helmet look like he's in the toilet? Does he? Let's have a look at that one. <laughs> Over the green helmet. Let's go back to this. Uh -oh. uh, here we go. I've got a green helmet. Oh, down bottom <laughs> left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's on a space toilet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. On the space toilet. Yeah. Oh, I can see that now. <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's go. I've got another picture. Yes, I saw that printed tile. Now that's cool. That's nice, awesome. Isn't it? Wow. Now that's cool. Ooh, that is. That's awesome. mm. I like that. Oh, I like that. Yeah, good spot there, Miss Ambie. Uh, let's go to the next one. Any, any other pictures? Don't know what else. I see it really. It's all we've got so far. Um, looks a bit like my tabletop actually in Studio One. Uh, that'd be weird. It could be me all along. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's what we got so far. I'm just a bit like, uh, after the last lot that we've had, um, I'm just kind of like, yeah, they're all right, they're okay. Um, I can't say my, my choices have changed or anything like that. I'll probably get a few of them. Um, let's see what they're saying now in the out in the chat um what could we, we say we've got uh uh crazy saying i haven't got a favorite as too many are good in different ways some i'm not fussed about uh, and the throwback to gs is is good to add to the collection yeah uh lady mcbrick saying uh hola anna ray it's good to see you out there as i can say uh robo pug yeah like that uh, Anna's saying, uh, Brickstage Parge, hello, Brickstage Parge, bonus, uh, bonus nachos. Uh, it's food day, isn't it? Uh, awesome Mtron. Yeah, the Mtron guy is pretty good. Yeah, uh, the Gal cool. yeah, Galaxy Squad Alien is a bit weak. Yeah. Mm, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it is. Um, these are just cool. Nope. Yeah, that's it. No, no one's wrong. No one's right, yeah, folks. We just, that's it. Love the pugs. Uh, everyone's loving the pug, Tron, uh, Atron, Ice Planet, and Black Tron. Uh, you can't go wrong with Electron. Love it. 11. Orion says mm. axle plate. Good to see axle plate. Uh, should have a boat, not a club. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking, I mean, what the hell is a club going to do for you in space? Uh, anyway, you know what I mean? <laughs> the, the, all other big bods and uh, the, 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 the uh, KitchenAid 5000. <laughs> uh, yeah, it says that's what you get from John Lewis or something like that. Uh, Matt Mellish, uh, good to see. You. Printed tile. Yeah, we got, we got we got a few printed bits and pieces on there. Mm -hmm. Um and uh do you have the pics from the actual figures uh that was the pictures from there there was the actual figure well they, they, they haven't got them out yet i don't think and they're still on the uh, the lego website let's have a look do, 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 do. I, I thought i did see a picture like a clear yeah was it did, did the pretty post have one maybe i think somebody got hold of a couple of them as well and actually had some let's have a look uh... Oh, I thought um, I thought they actually had some on here. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, hello. Uh, now this is actually this one does look good. Uh, thanks yeah, for that's good. Up now that it's now that yeah. the arms are kind of swung away, you mm. can see the fig. Yeah. Yeah, that's that gets cool. Better. Check out the back. Look at this. Nice. Yeah, oh, that is good. Oh, that's nice. All right, yeah, that's, that's good. A... That it's gone up a notch now. A new level. Mm -hmm. that's a printed tires. Well, actually, they all are, aren't they? Everything's printed. Printed now. If, yeah. if you're out looking, if this doesn't have a, a QR code, which I know that some of the new uh, season twenty uh, series twenty five have the smaller code that can't scan, you can still use a scale. I've done it, and so this one will definitely be the heavy, the heaviest one because it's got all the extra pieces. So that'll be easy definitely. to find. Yeah, yeah. I said, I was in the Smith's Toys today, and they were saying, uh, "Oh, did you bring your scales in to weigh them?" I mean, I just scanned them, uh, but the scanners will work if you've got the bigger barcodes on them. Or, the they're not actually called yeah. barcodes, are they? They're called something like uh, QR, QR codes. codes. QR, QR codes. Oh, that's yeah. cool. I like that. Now, this is nice. I like this one. It uh, is. It's good. Yeah. Really like nice printing. Camera tile on the on the right there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's yeah. clean, yeah, man. It's clean. Oh, yeah, the lens. Yeah. That looks nice. Yeah. yeah. That's that looks, that looks like Mr. Handy's. That's it. Right. That's a great uh, torso as well, printed torso. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah I, I was like going to say that one. printed torso is fire. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it looks nice on the uh, on on the printed stand as well. Mm. Yeah, we like that one. Mm -hmm. That's a ten out of ten for me. That one, I got. And that one. one's oh, there oh. are all these figs on on the same stand with the stars. I guess it would be the same it for is. all. Yeah, yeah. I bet. Mm -hmm. looking at this, it looks like it. And look at this. Yeah, it is. Yeah, 
Oh, I see, that is quite good when you see it. Yeah, I like it, yeah. Mm. It's clever. That's a clever yeah, one. Yeah, it's a nice idea, isn't it? It's... It, it like reminds that. me of future armor for some reason. <laughs> yeah, it does. I love, I love the, micro, the micro. I want a whole army of those micro. Yeah. You've got the door in the back. Nano face. Oh, that's excellent. I know. It's brilliant, isn't it? Oh, let's see the door in the back. Sorry, I missed it. Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> that's really clever. That's classic. Oh, and it has an actual face, too. So if you yeah, want to turn teeth. around. Yeah. They've got like a little line around it. So it's like his face yeah. plate. Isn't it? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. We don't want really to get many things with teeth. It look a bit weird about te with teeth. <laughs> uh, but it's a nice that's print actually, on the face. Yeah. That's actually like that. it's a clever idea, a smart little idea. Yeah, it's a yeah. really good idea. All right. I like the antenna on his head as well. <laughs> yeah. I love that. That's what I mean. It's a future armor bit. Now, this one is universally <laughs> a good one. This is a, uh, this is the sort of thing I, I expect Dan uh, from TGA to wear. When we, when, 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 when <laughs> or Sam. Yeah. Definitely Sam Smith. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Sam Smith. Of course. <laughs> Yeah, it's good. I like his camera. It's got a nice camera. I like that one. Yeah. I like his hat. Pack. Is that a new piece? It's not a new piece, but it's. A, I think it's a new color in that. Is it? I think I've seen that piece before in black. I, I just <laughs> put one on a minifig in red. Yeah, I've definitely, it's green. They were in, yeah, I'm going to say lime green as well as the other color, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, we've got so one brick study saying, love that holiday vacation alien yeah, as well. Yeah. He goes, uh, yes, yes, but now everybody loves them. Uh, <laughs> no, not necessarily. Uh, let's have a look. I, I, you look at something long enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I keep saying it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, now this one, I think this is. I'm sure there was a there's a male version of this one, wasn't there back in the day? Yes, yes, there was. Because oh yeah, it's uh, nice sand green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This 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 to me is screaming Flash Gordon. Yeah. yeah. Gordon's like, alive. Is that a robot pug? It is, it is. Yeah. yeah. It, is. it is a robot pug. Okay. Yeah. That's it's way a Frenchie. Now. Okay. okay. It's a Frenchie. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry. It's a Frenchie. Oh, it's a French. You, you got to look at the ears, oh, folks. It's the ears. Oh, yeah. It's a Frenchie. My bad. My yeah, bad. It's a French. No, you're fine. Yeah. I think it doesn't go this, wolf. It goes bonjour. This, uh, this hat came with the other one, I think you're thinking of. Yeah, I'm not kind of thinking a moth killer or something like that, yeah. but I'm sure there was You're really getting their use yeah. out of this Frenchie mold. Natural History Museum, other CMF, this CMF. Well, now all the dog molds need to be robot molds. Yes. Like they need to be made. Oh, yeah, yeah. Husky, yeah, nice. robot husky. <laughs> all robot of them. Husky. <laughs> uh, the robot dog is cute, says Anna Ray's. Yes, Robo Pug. Robo Pug says Two Gay Files. <laughs> Robo Pug says Menard. Yes, KO. It does remind me of. I mean, Robo Pug does roll off the tug. I'll give yeah. you that. Yeah. Robo, Pug. It does. Robo Pug. Yeah. <clears throat> there we go. We like that one. It's a pretty cool cartoon, doesn't it? Robo Pug as well. Oh, I like the back of her helmet with her hair coming out. Yeah. Ooh. That's cute. Jewel molded legs as well. Mm -hmm. Um Dual mode is, must be dual mode all of, practically all of them have dual mode. Mm. So this one kind of matches the uh, series seventeen retro spaceman. Is that what it is? Mm. That's the one. Yeah, they're kind of Thank same you. style. Have you got? Did, did Have you got that one, uh, Carrie? The seventeen one. Yeah. Um, I can get a picture. Is it me? I love the. It's a fantastic fig. Yeah. yeah, the eyeshadow does it for me. That's that is really good. Mm. It does. There's something a bit abba-ish about, about it. You know what I mean? Everyone like a bit of abba? Gimme, 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 and all that jazz. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, liking this. <laughs> nice. Kind nice of a bit print. Jetsons as well. Um, mm -hmm. Jetsons. Yeah. Now you're you talking. think of the Jetsons. Oh, there we go. Let's, let's bring it up. That'd be let's good bring seeing it up. Like yeah, that's the one. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. This is mate. That is. Yeah, so they, they essentially have the same, same sort of helmet. And guns. Yeah. He's yes. got a cape though. She doesn't have a cape. No. Well, he we can yeah, put it down though when she's getting a bit cold. Do you know what I mean? Uh, be a gentleman. Uh, let's have a look at Mtron. Oh, Mtron man, shall we? Oh, let's get uh, carrying Ian off there. Uh, there we go. There we go. Let's see. Uh, let's have a look at Mtron man, shall we? There he is. He, he looks quite good. He's got a skateboard yeah. for some sort of weapon or something, rather. Or roller skate. I'm not quite sure. But. <laughs> I it's like nice. his helmet. Oh, yeah, is it like any? Yeah, I like the chain thing that's going to his uh, yeah. weapon from the backpack. Yeah. I'm just thinking, is that yeah, a it's not piece like a of... after like um? Yeah, I think it is minifig. That one yeah. by two. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's they use it for his arms. Yeah, I like that. What is that flexi piece? What is that? Uh, I think that's new. 
I've never seen that. That's so it's useful. A recolor? It's a recolor? It's a quick stage pass. It says, now we're going to comment on the worst Brian Blessed Vulture impression. Did, did Doc <laughs> Ock ever have anything like that? I wonder. He, Doc Ock, the, the, they usually had that hinged uh, yeah. technique. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I know the one. It's, it's, it's quite normal, isn't he? It's, like, it's, it's just, it's He's just got a eyes in the back of his head. Yeah. He has. It's yeah. a nice print, though, as well. On the box, that's kind of like um, he used to have those magnet boxes and he used to have a print, which is pretty much exactly the same as that. Yes. Which is, yeah. Which is really cool. I've got an Mtron well. set right over there with the magnet. Guys, I, 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 I've got to say this as well. I'm going to show you a picture later, which will blow your socks off. Now, I don't know about you lot, because we're, oh. we're talking about space here. I'm a massive fan of this new Friends uh, research rover that's coming out on Monday. Oh, yeah. Um, that is cool. <coughs> new elementary have actually got images of different types of space things, uh, and they've recreated it in them. I'll show you a picture about that yeah. later on. Uh, does it do hang around for that? Uh, let's have a look see if we've got any other ones on there. Oh, here we go. Let's have a look. Yeah, we must have most of them on there, right? Okay, let's have a look at this one. So she's got the battery on the back. That's a oh, different that's battery. Good. Yeah, definitely nearly. Yeah. Almost full charge. Oh, see, almost full <laughs> charge. Yeah, she's, 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 <laughs> let's have a look at this one. I really like that. Yeah, the pictures they sent oh, the out don't trans do justice blue arms. Today. <laughs> they don't. This is far better. This is, this yeah. is uh, Honestly, this is what Lego would miss it a trick here yeah? because yep. like all of a sudden this is getting better and better. Trans yeah. blue arms, come on, we can do this. Oh Just... yeah, so yeah, would never have. I didn't notice yeah. that in the. Yeah, Give I was wondering if. Ghost. Do you think that background they put them on doesn't help at all? It doesn't at all. It hides it a lot of. It makes it busy. Yeah. It's busy. Because they do look better. I'm sorry, yeah, they do. Behind a little bit. They do. And these, they, this is not special. This is kind of very not fussy pictures we're seeing hmm. here. Yeah, um, it would have been good if she had um, some printing on the on the um, waistline there to match the torso, like they do with a lot of figs. Mm -hmm. but, but overall, yeah. great, great I looking fig. I think the Danny thing of it though is good. I don't, can I just add the logo? Is that is that an imperial logo? Uh, kind but of. in blue, it is a bit, isn't it? <laughs> yep. It's a bit to say. But I mean, that, that's uh, the um, is that the city medic logo? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think it was much more no, like a pyramid kind of thing. It's, it's nice. not quite, is it though? Because it's no. got too many points. It's got too many points. <laughs> no, I do like her hair. Just saying, I am a. I like the um, a... plug socket in the back of her head. That they... that's quite yeah. a nice idea. I like that. So it's a bit of Matrix well uh, style, isn't it? Yeah. It's really well thought through, actually, the design of these, isn't it? Oh, so my far. goodness. Yeah. yeah. Charging like port. The... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Charging <laughs> port. Yeah. Excellent. Give your baby a boost. Uh, <laughs> right, here we go. Let's get the next one. Here, this, this guy. Cool. It, yeah. Oh, my God. Now, I, I, this is, yeah. This is clever. Do like this. This, this one I've liked all along. It kind of, uh, it, it, it just blends quite nicely in with the, uh, the stand. But oh, look, yeah, it does, yeah. Check out. The back, the back, the best is on the back. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, Earth. Yes. oh cool. Earth. Oh, that is nice. It's the Earth. Oh, it's got Earth. every, almost every continent shown, I think, right? Yeah, pretty yeah. much, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'm not quite sure what that yeah. continent is anyway. But <laughs> it's, it's incontinent, I think. But anyway, it's... Uh, well, the moon's there too. That's cool. The moon, yeah, <laughs> the moon's there. I think it's a moon or a, pr or a print error. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's supposed to be a star. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, it could be. Uh, <laughs> but he's, he's Galaxy Dude. Uh, I, I like him. I like, I like him. him a lot, actually. Yeah. I like him. So far, I, this is my favorite. Sudden, it's gone from like a four out of ten to a good seven out of ten so far. Yeah. Um, there we go. He's happy. He's got his, his green head. Uh, got any more? Yeah, oh, yeah actually, now that I'm looking at it, that piece, that dome with the silver dishes, I think it's a solid piece. Is it? Oh. Is it? Oh, I'll tell you what, people I, I, it like looks that. like it is. Oh, yeah, wow. I think it is. It, 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 looks like like it. It, it should be in two pieces. Anyway, let's have a look at this yeah, one because this, this honestly, this is like uh, a Mandalorian meets uh, <laughs> CMF series. Uh, look at this. Look, she's angry. Uh, can I just say that's a bit unflattering that picture? Uh, <laughs> don't you think? It's, uh, <laughs> it's something a bit weird uh, <laughs> about that picture. Can anyone put their finger on it by any chance? <laughs> All right. uh, I'm looking at. Yeah. I'm just looking at the penguin. Is that? Only <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could get away with saying that, guys. Uh, there we go. Uh, there you go. There's her hair on the floor, anyway, and she's got uh, an interesting torso, shall we say? Uh, <laughs> Anyway, uh, quick, the, the next picture, the next picture. Um, there we go. Oh, okay, let's get, let's have a look at the penguin. Oh, is All that right. that new 
that's, that's a new cool. piece as well, isn't it? He's a, is that the Speed Golly. Champs piece as well? The blue little uh, semicircle one there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a cool piece. Yeah. yeah great cool. torso. Oh, actually, she's a really good right figure. Now. I'm liking that. I love yeah. the hair piece. As well. Love that. That That is brilliant. <laughs> it is. Like, I like is, that they, mat- yeah. they match with the penguins, so they both yeah. have the same orange visor. Yeah. Very cool. What's the penguins <laughs> name? TGA, what's the penguins name? I need to know what the penguins going to be called. What are we going to call the penguin? Uh, Pluto penguin or something? I don't know. Um, let's have a look. We've got any more pictures of it? We've got a few more. Oh, there's a torso. Oh, oh yeah. That's good. That's nice. A nice fluffy collar with it. I love it. It's really cool. Yeah. yeah. Fluffy collar. God, I tell you, it gets cold out there in space. Mm-hmm. Uh, no one can hear you scream it. either. No, no, no. That's true. That's true. It's cold out there. You've watched too much Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, have a, let's have a look at this because honestly, I think it's just some sort of futuristic food mixer or something. I don't know. Um, oh, that's a nice print on this, but also, yeah, it, that is the the, the 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 what was he used to say? Something Will Robin danger? Will Robin? Yeah, danger, danger, danger. Yeah, danger <laughs> yeah, in a real American accent. Do um, you know what? It is actually a very similar because he had that sort of bubbly head as well, didn't he? Uh, it did. Lost in space, it's very um, reminiscent of that, definitely. What was the robot even called? I think it was B nine robot. I think B nine. Okay, all right. They just called him is robot that... in it. <laughs> that... Ko saying is that Sio Connor? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Straight. <into the> <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, Keo, he's got such good imagination. Uh, he's got a tape deck for it on his back. It's like an Omnibot. Do you remember Omnibots? Does anyone oh remember my them? God, yeah. It's like, Dude, ding- this is an Omnibot. It's got a Dingbot in the other room. So. <laughs> Dingbot. I had the Omnibot yeah, back yeah. in the day. I just, 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 just bring it co- 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 And from what great. I could find, I think this is a recolor. Like, this is a new color of the Mysterio helmet. Like, fishbowl yeah. as well. That's a good piece as well, isn't all it? All right, cool. I think that's nice the week. Uh, that's a good one. Let's have a look at this one. I think they've got them all here. So it just way. came straight here. There we go. Oh, this is, that's this is all right. That is quite that's good. good. It's nice all right. It's an alien, I suppose. Eating some sort of it's alien. like a bug. Grape. Mm. Yeah, it is like a uh, space it's bug. Like a bug. Uh, like a bug. Like a bug. <laughs> Um, uh, there we go. Oh, he is oh a hello. Oh, that's he is pretty a bug. It's a beetle wings. Look Aww. at that. Oh, it's a, ben, that's it's nice. a space. It's a space dung it's beetle. A space bug. Uh, <laughs> 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 this guy's around pushing Martian poo around the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, strange but true. God, I that what. head's a bit alien, isn't it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Dude, it's like you're right. It is. HR Geiger. If this came, if that came in bags. This would be an easy oh, yeah. to uh, fill, wouldn't it? It really would be. From the it's side, gonna... it looks like the alien from Independence Day. Mm-hmm. The thing is, it's not going to display well in a frame because it's going to be too deep to to put it on. Shave it. File it down. File it down. File it down. Yeah. Or Just to the side, like hieroglyphic, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, this is pretty good. Oh, alien insectoid. All right, oh, yes. I think we got that yes. one. Oh, there we go, Orion. Orion. Oh, here we go. Uh, I mean, hey. call, they one called Uranus, were they? That would be kind of uh, slightly weird. <laughs> uh, uh, next, <laughs> next wave. <laughs> yeah. Could you Look imagine it? Glitter. <laughs> He's glitter. Oh, he is. He, that <laughs> there's a lot of glitter in there. Could you make that head is going to be sought after, isn't it? And oh, the, yeah. the, the, the toy yeah. well. that smile just looks yeah. really creepy. It does. <laughs> I mean, but... he's a constellation, so you got to give him. That's really yeah. nice on that shield. It's as like well, something out it? of uh, a ten catch before or something like that. Yeah. Nice I kind of wish they had done the same thing that with the torso that they did with the legs, translucent but with some printing. Yeah, I think yeah. they ran out of the yeah. budget. The budget started to stop yeah. printing money. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> uh, that's got to be the most, club. the worst lightsaber I've ever seen in my life. Is there really a problem with translucent torsos because it, it shows it, all the instruments of the arm joints don't work? Oh, yeah, it would do, right? wouldn't it? Is that what happens? Yeah. Yeah, it would do, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. uh, it would be a bit weird. It would be a bit weird indeed. Uh, there we go. The club looks like a Cheeto. <laughs> <laughs> a knickknack. Uh, Miss Ambie said that. <laughs> Uh, it does no, though. It's not. It really does. Now I cannot see it. I can't either. <laughs> and now I want it some Cheetos. So oh, I, I could, I could yeah. really do with eating some crisps right now. That's so nice. Oh, munchies. Yeah, that's nice you guys give me the munchies. Can you believe it? 
Um, I like it. Is it me? It just it look, from the back, it looks like a raspberry or something, a you know, blueberry or something. Oh, know? don't. That's made me hungry. <laughs> uh, this is a very uh, foodish kind of character here. Yeah, it is. I don't, I don't know about this one. I think this one's Big a nice baby. idea, just a bit oddly executed. I think they would have might should have done him as a more godlike looking mm. like uh, centurion i mean he's got a bit of a centurion thing about it i think um collector's oh. gonna like the torso the shield nice. is very interesting that looks like a, uh, nice. a reuse of uh the gungans i think it was out of star yeah. wars um I mean, elves, maybe? elves maybe yeah it could be yeah. i mean Why what sort of mold is that club i mean are we gonna get a caveman series or something like that uh with the dinosaurs yeah there's a thing we've had I two cavemen do. i think from we've had caveman and a caveman yeah in the same episode we have clubs like that yeah, yeah. Have we, have we i, mean, I think there were orc minifigures yeah the, the one eye wasn't it That's yeah the one, I, think. I think they oh, had oh. the clubs too oh the worst kind honestly they really yeah. are with one do eye. you know what i wish that hair was in dark brown as well <laughs> Oh, because he looked like one of the doctors. Yeah. Is that I'm what very it is? selfish. Yeah, I'm very selfish. <laughs> Colour it in, guys. Colour it in. Um, well, this That's one's good. One. Blacktron 2 Man or something. This is cool. Yeah. Um, this is this looks like um, uh, this is like DC's answer to, to uh, or Blacktron's answer to DC's uh, Two-Face. I like it. It's quite good. It's quite army-ish, isn't yeah. it? <clears throat> there you go. Yeah, see, that's a much better view. You can actually see it all. There's a lot of companies. Yeah. The double arms. It's a nice idea, though, being sort of taken over, like, half alien like that. It's quite... Yeah. It's a bit the two arm things. That's, is that a first? Is that is that the first time that we've had that? The double arm? Yeah. Stitch. Uh, stitch. stitch. Yeah. Um, something else as well. Uh, well only on one idea. side. No, I thought Stitch had him on both. Rio, there's a Rio he does character have in Star Wars called Rio. He's got uh, he's got four arms. Uh, yeah, I think they used that for that one from Solo, was it? Was that one? Yeah. It's really neat. If you, if you, so if you've got four arms, I wonder if they renamed the part of the arm that's called forearm. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, eight arm or something instead. <laughs> eight arm. Oh. Uh, do you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna. This might sound a bit weird, but this is actually my favorite one in the series. Mm. I'm just, no, which is like the most classic looking, the most classic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just think it's brilliant. Yeah. Um, but really we nice are, printing, in my it? opinion, lacking uh, a classic space figure. Mm. Um, this, this one's clever. I give that good merit. This one's quite funny. Not that Sam yeah. Smith minifigure written all over it. She's cool having her in. That sort of collect, uh, uh, brings that collection to an end with the male and female. Got the robot pug, Robo pug. We love that. Mtron man. He's quite cool. Uh, yeah. He's got a hell of a lunchbox there. Just saying. Uh, this one we liked. She's pretty cool. She's got the uh, the the didgeridoo. Uh, trans uh, trans blue arms. Uh, there we go. Oh, I had to say <laughs> you do there, but there we go. This guy, <laughs> we like this guy. He's clever. Uh, Spaceman. He's like he's like he's like the universe in the form of a minifigure. Uh, and he's got the the Earth on the background uh, with uh, some continents that we just got no idea what they are. But anyway, it looks cool. Um, uh, she's well. Ugh, I'm just going to say. It. Excellent. I was going to say, yeah, <laughs> that's going to be abused. Uh, just saying. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we've got the food mixer. Uh, we've got the bug, uh, the, uh, the the Martian uh, turd beetle. Uh, we've got Orion. I think Orion's clever, but slightly weak. Mm. So, yeah, for, for me, I, I think after seeing these ones, uh, I think I'm a little bit warmer to the series now. Mm. What do yeah. you guys and girls out there think? Uh, all right, so now we've seen them, we've gone really into sort of deep, depths of this new series that's coming out may the first uh i actually think they're better than what my first impressions were guys uh on the panel i'll start with you rick what do you think uh slightly better Ag than what you thought agreed yep i think there's definitely one or two more than i that i like there um i'll be getting some of them yeah me too me too uh bright switch bricks not a lot of harry potter stuff going on there i mean there was a club you could pretend that's a, some sort of strange uh jurassic wand uh but otherwise what's your thoughts on the uh, cms series i think i'm going to be concentrating on getting other things and prioritizing other things but i don't know like it's always fun to this is this is a series that's fun enough to where like i'll pick up a couple boxes if um, I really want something or I'll just order Orion and, you know, like the space guy off of <clears throat> Link and, and be done. So 
Okay. It's nice though. Fair enough. She's nice. She must be so nice. Just focused on a theme. I love that. Uh, what about no. you, Fab? Um, are you as focused, as laser focused as what Lauren is, uh, or are you um, are you thinking oh, I might I might give myself a fancy a Robo Pug? I might get a couple of them, but I am laser focused. She's laser focused. That must be a Harry Potter trait. It must be. <laughs> It it's really a cat be. owner thing. Yeah. You got the laser. Pen. Oh, it is a cat owner thing. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Get the little light and just uh, watch them go crazy. Uh, okay, then, uh, Mister okay. Mister Wishy's hair was brown. Uh, <laughs> what, what, what did you think of them? I mean, they, they, there's some of those you could use for good scenes for for. Doctor oh yeah, Who. yeah. I I think actually seeing the pictures like that is much better. There are mm -hmm. a lot more. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more possibilities with them as well. I think so. And it's definitely. <laughs> I think they fire the imagination more when you can see better well, pictures. Orion, for example, thing. Orion meeting Doctor Who would be quite cool, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. But he, you could also use him as a ghost as well, though, because, you know, he's got that transparent. You, there's nothing yeah, to say. They all have to be exactly the start, same. Yeah, if we start... We, 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 you never know. That could be the last figure, the, the last special figure that we're going to get from the Star Wars uh, collectibles. But uh, no, knowing Lego, they'll probably come out with some unknown uh, astromech. Just saying. Just throwing that one out there. Uh, <laughs> what do you think, Liz? Oh, um, Katie. Are you... Oh, yeah, Katie. <laughs> Katie. Um, Liz, well, what, what do you think? Are these slight... Are they... Uh, is it a little bit... Are you got a little bit more love for them now than what you had before? I think it's probably the same. I, yeah, I'll pick up a few, but I'm not. I mean, they're fun. I think that kids are really going to like them. Um, and I think there's really awesome elements and pieces in there that I'm going to want, um, especially some of the print pieces. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. She's a little bit. Everyone's a little bit warmer to them now, which is good. Which is yeah. good. Uh, I certainly am. That's for sure. Uh, brick bots. So uh, Carrie. Um, well, what about you? There's a lot of purple in this, especially that insectoid. I mean, it's just like a purple. Yeah, thing. but it's an insectoid. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I, I definitely think the pictures have done them more justice, but there's still a space round. I'm not really into space. I'm definitely buying them, but. <laughs> I don't really care. I'm not gonna like it. <laughs> no. so, so, have you got? Are you one of these people that has to collect everything or something? Um, are you? Yes, to some degree, but not. I'm trying my best not to be that about everything these days. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. That's easier said than done. Ian, you don't like anything uh, mini figs or mini dolls related. <laughs> I'll, I'll so, say, there's, there's, you know, there's a lot of good mini figs in there. Yeah. You know, and there's and. I think there's something there that most people will like, at least one of them. I don't think it makes a cohesive CMF series, though. Yeah. Like with the Monsters CMF series, all Very of them work together as a set. Whereas this I, one doesn't. Yeah, you can't series 14, I think it was. Anything, can yeah, you? It was I agree. Series 14 was definitely one of the best ones. <laughs> I think it's Sire Connor's <clears throat> favourite series, yeah. actually. It's definitely one of mine. Um yeah, good, good shout. It is. It doesn't feel cohesive. Uh, that's probably a nice way of putting it. Um, I'd say. Um, we'll, we'll we'll take a look, and see what the chat thinks in a minute. Interestingly, we've had nearly eighty votes so far on tonight's survey, asking the question based on what we know. Which CMS series do you prefer? Uh, the 2024 Space Series, the 2024 Dungeons and Dragons series, theoretically speaking, of course. Or are you just undecided? Uh, well, it's pretty much neck and neck at the moment. Uh, Space Series has got 36%. D&D &D is on 38%. So I'm going to see if, if that changes much between now and the end of the stream. And as always, folks, everybody who is on the panel tonight, in the case of Brickbods, Liz, Minific Who, Fab Blondies, Bright Switch Bricks, Rick Brickham, of course, you'll find all their details down in the description below. You really will. So let's see what the chat was saying about them. Then. Uh, so uh, Anna Ray's is saying the shield feels uh, a bit like Kang the Conqueror technology. Yeah, I, I know what you mean by that. Uh, the cub looks like a Cheeto, says Miss Ambi. I think that's a classic. Uh, I think that's going to be a phrase of the night, that one. Uh, Orion the Hunter. That's exactly what it is. Uh, uh, Cabbage Face says, I had a Ford Orion back in the day. Yeah, my dad did as well, actually. It was the, the Ford Orion gear. Uh, 1.4 as well. They had this strange, bizarre engine that the Ford brought out back in the time. Uh, it was a good car, though. It was a good car. Um, anyway, Axel Plate uh, says hi, Titanium J, and little old lady says cabbage. Uh, what else we got? 
Uh, TJ saying, uh, we had one like that in the Lego City magazine. I haven't bought the Lego City magazine for a while. They always come with uh, construction workers most of the time. Uh, I like the mutant Blacktron, says Titanium J. I know he's a big fan of uh, Blacktron, uh, as am I. Uh, but I wish we had a regular one. Uh, so do I, yeah. actually. Um, I, t- I totally do. Or maybe even a negative version of him would be quite cool. Uh, I wish the, the other leg was regular at least. Uh, would have made converting them easier. Yeah, I agree. Uh, can I just say as well, I think what would have been nice is if we had had like a classic um, 80s space rover. You know, the ones that used to come with the t- tiny little wheels, uh, a little sort of uh, the, the, the slope piece, steel oh, yeah. and an aerial on the back. That's it. Yeah, super yeah, basic. Yeah, just that. Just that with a new colour. <laughs> like, even mm-hmm. if it was like the most horrible green in the world, I don't think it would have been good. Um <laughs> Emily Sykes, she says, my fave one is the Robo Club. Okay, fair enough. Uh, is that a club or pug? Oh, there we go, pug. There we go. <laughs> uh, same TJ, uh, a regular updated Black Drone. Uh, Matt's, uh, Matt Mellish is out there. Good to see you, Matt. Uh, he's saying, seems like there's a, a bit of something for everyone, although I always want more throwbacks to vintage sets. Yeah, I, I, oh, they definitely missed a the trick there. Um, they, they should have had the classic, uh, more of a classic one in there. And then the big baby's good, um, but it's still not the same. Uh, the Minific who, yeah, good minds think alike. Obviously, you guys are thinking space there. I like them, but do think they'll uh, stick on shelves more than the last series. Yeah, and the problem is, because they're in boxes... People are mm-hmm. going to be less likely, right, to mm-hmm. just pick them up because they're three pounds mm-hmm. fifty, and they must be. How much are they in 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 dollars, uh, Rick? In, in six Australia? six dollars here. Six dollars. Oh my God, that sounds a Yikes. lot of money for something that you could get a lot of duplicates <clears throat> of. Um, well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, and, and that's the thing. Uh, what about in America, uh, Lauren? How much would they be in, in America? Like four dollars fifty, something like that. They're at least. I thought they were at least five. I think they're four ninety nine, right? Four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. I think it's four ninety nine. Yeah, I think they're five. Jeez, must well round it up to a five. Why you there? Uh, the brick pods, the space CMF series, or German footballers? Carrie, what would you rather have? The space, uh, the space CMFs, or the German footballers? I said German footballers would be easier to place in the city than the space ones. So. Oh, there we go. Footballers. There we go. You could do like have an exhibition on or something like that. Uh, negative black tron, white tron. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Or just just something like that. Something just that's quite which is quite basic, but I think maybe clever at the same time. Uh, maybe we get a space advent calendar. Yeah, imagine that. That'd be a good idea. I think they could get away with it this year. Uh, Coral classic spacemen. Now talking of um, classic no. space stuff. Uh, no, you wouldn't want that. Okay, fair enough. Will, will you be getting the potential? The, 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 the rumor is we're going to get a D and D CMF series. Carrie, are you going to get that one as well? If it's the CMF, then I'll probably be getting it. <laughs> All right. Okay, she just can't help herself. All right, fair enough. I yeah. guess it's a CMF. <laughs> Yeah, the Ian, he, 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 Ian writes all this down. Ian watches the, the podcast back. He writes all down everything that Carrie wants. Uh, you know, he's uh, he's been married a long time. Uh, and rightly so too. Right, I'll tell you what, folks. Let's have a look at this. Rick, I think you're going to love this. Anyone who loves a bit of space, friends, or classic space themes, I think, is generally going to like this. This is from New Elementary. Came out a little bit earlier on oh, today. Yeah. Right? Awesome, this is. What do we think of these? Ah, very cool. It's so good. So I like it. Guys, thank you so for giving me this. Futuron, <laughs> Ice Planet, yeah. Blacktron. Is that Futuron on the Oh no, that's the know. that's the We've updated got space, space. Space police there. That'll yeah, space good. police, yeah. Uh we've got wherever that is. No, that is. Ice Planet. I think yeah. Ice, Ice Planet. planet. Okay. Yeah. Ice Planet. Love that. Love the background they've used as well. Yeah. Um we get the, the classic the, space that background, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> no, I love this one. What, yeah. what was this one? What, what, what see was Blacktron this? two. Yeah, Blacktron 2. That was very imaginative, wasn't it? Calling it, right? <laughs> uh, <coughs> uh, uh, so let's have a look, see what they say. So, the <clears throat> new elementary, uh, find them over on Instagram, folks. They are amazing, they like really, really go into detail yeah. and stuff. Uh, and our good friend Kaz Mockett uh, works with them as well. Uh, she's a contributor. Uh, so Toby Mac loves the upcoming Lego Friends Rover so much, as do I, and certainly TGA as well. Um, he rebuilt it digitally in the color schemes of his childhood themes, Blacktron 2, Space Police 2, and Ice Planet 2002. There's a lot of twos in Space Yeah, there are, yeah. Uh, which theme would you like to rebuild it in? Uh, very, very cool. But yeah, 
I love that. I can I just say I love this space scooter as well. I just love everything about this set. Mm. Um, Brick bods, are you are you thinking about getting this? Because you you like friends. I'm certainly going to get it. But what what about you guys? I just don't like space. So <laughs> I know I know it's purple, enough, but we just don't don't need space stuff. You don't need space. Uh, well, I well, think- Probably get it. Oh, you want this one, do you? Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're getting this one. Yay. Hang on, hang on. You want Yay. this one? I get the German footballers. No. <laughs> it's nice like to get a kind of STEM-based sets for the girls to play with, yeah. rather than you know bakery. Uh huh. Yeah. That's no, good. It's, it gives Throw a lot. The kids in. Yeah. That's it. Bring That's the true. kids into it. When, when to when. Whenever to leverage the kids to get a Lego set, I like mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Wait, they really like them. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know that. Yeah, let's well, take and name three of them, then okay. we can get it. Oh, oh here we go. The, so, Paul is saying you, you need the half football pitch uh, for the footballers. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> when are the minifigures on sale? So, Emily Sykes, uh, the minifigures come out uh, May, May the first. Yeah. yeah, May the first. Oh, yeah, the clash with Star Wars. Oh. Then, but there we go. It's uh, gonna be insane. And like, could you imagine the one person? I'm just here for the space scene. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, 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 they'd be like, yeah, okay. They're they, they're right at the back in the part of the shop that no one ever goes to. That's badly lit. Uh, <laughs> okay. Everyone else be piling there for Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> uh what can i say but uh yeah um could um uh could be a space ride in the amusement park yeah mm-hmm. and this um this this rover fits completely in with uh, the city modular system as well uh, oh, it's really okay. clever i've I, i've watched one review on it so far and uh I'm, I'm dying to see what people thought of it and it basically it, it was well liked, I and mean, that's good enough for me. Mm. And I, and I, since the moment I saw this, I just want it for the style of it, the 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 the, the lack of studs. Not that that really bothers me anyway, because I quite like. Mm. I don't mind the look of studs, but I just think it's really good. And I like the outfits. Yeah. <laughs> I just like the outfits. It's just <laughs> so so cool. And I particularly like this. Um, I really do. It just was like someone in one of those electric scooters going over London Bridge. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but yeah. But so anyway, so that's. Um, that's that uh for now um but where are we at we are at uh is it always oh, is this is this one of your cats well i hope it is anyway fab and, and yeah not, not it, you i was you tell you it's baby one's girl this, oh, this one's baby girl she's yeah, my little yeah. tiny one is she? she just had an upset tummy and threw up oh yeah. okay oh yeah oh. Don't live. Anyway, you, do you need to go and clear up or something oh or no you, oh okay hubby went and cleaned it up oh okay good happy all right <laughs> um <laughs> Anyway, obviously, hopefully she gets better soon. We like that. We don't like uh, cats who've upset. She she always throws up. She she's always thrown up. Like some uh, cats just throw up, just to throw up, and she's one. Do they? Is yeah. that normal? Is it because she's got a mouthful of fur balls or something like that? I mean, I find that I used to find that quite interesting with my uh, Siamese cats. The she the, doesn't even the have express, the even eyes fur and their eyes didn't pop out their heads. I don't know, but anyway, it was a fur. She ball doesn't thing. even throw up fur balls. She just throws up. Does she? She gags. You should rename her to. Gag or something, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, it's a, it's a thing. Gags, are, are you ever had a cat that just uh, compulsively sort of gags or anything like that? Is it, is it no, weird? no, no, no. Just, <laughs> just uh, if we've got to clean up anything like that, that's just us. It's like, oh, it's just, no. <laughs> <laughs> gagging guys. Yeah. Uh, what can I say? <laughs> All right, no, that's fair game. Sweet. It's a funny old world, isn't it? That cats. A bit wrong. <laughs> you can never imagine having a cat like that. You'd be thinking to yourself, oh, yeah, I love this cat. Or oh, I hope it doesn't. It's not one of those gaggers, though. Uh, it's a weird thing. Um, anyway, so where, where should we go next? I think, uh, should we. Um, I think next, well, should, we, should, we, should we go into uh, the PMQ this week? Uh, yeah. I, I think that would be quite good. Let's go, go mm-hmm. into this week's. While we still got Liz on, Liz, are you still okay to be with us for a bit? Yeah, I was gonna say I uh, I'll have to head out after the P and Q, but okay, we we'll do the P and Q. All right, we got the time. Right, we've done for a bit. We did two hours. You you've nearly been on two hours, which is sensational. <laughs> so here we go, then, folks. Now this week's P and Q uh, is being brought to us uh, by the wonderful uh, Jesse Brick Galaxy. Now, I, if anyone is watching this back as well, do me a favor replay gang you know you are uh do me a favor if you if you if you've got a comment that you want to put in the comment section of course uh about this particular pmq then of course i'll give you guys uh, a shout out next week as well um i think it'd be a nice way to kind of scoop up what other people are thinking watching this back but anyway as for now uh the beautiful the talented the gorgeous it really is gorgeous uh jesse's brick galaxy asks us the following question
Hi everyone, this is Jesse from Minnesota. I go by Jesse's Brick Galaxy on the social medias, the Instagrams, the YouTubes. And I've been thinking about a question for Greg and the London Colony panel. Pick a brick cups. How many do you have? What do you use them for? Now that they're kind of a thing of the past, I have a few extra, but I use them to store transparent bricks. And that's working out for me. With that in mind, it's over to you. Oh, it's, 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 it's quite relaxing, that music at the end, isn't it? It's, it's kind of nice. <laughs> you get, get into it. it's like that. Oh, it's pretty images and everything. Um, so let's start with arguably one of the best mockers in the Lego uh instagram family that that, that, that is of course uh young rick uh down there oh um, you're rick, talking about jesse uh, no uh <laughs> jesse jesse is an amazing i mean i just don't know how he builds that much uh i really don't he's he, he's right? he, he's literally out of this world he really is um so pab cups or pab mm -hmm. jugs as we like to call them uh on the uh, on london corner what uh what, what what do you do with yours uh rick because i've still got loads as well yeah, I, you can actually see them right here. Oh, let's have a look. Like he's using them for sorting things out. Can we take note? Can we take note? Uh, uh, <laughs> ooh, cups. Sorry. Yeah. Pab cups. <laughs> <laughs> what strange hand um, gestures. So, yeah, I use them right now to store uh, miscellaneous parts from uh, Pab cup halls. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. I only have, um, I think I have probably... I don't know, 10. I honestly have not been like, I don't do much pab wall uh, buying. So, yeah, do I don't not? have too many. Really? Oh, God, I can't. Yeah. I, really, I thought you'd have actually bundles on, but do you yeah. tend to get all your stuff for your mocks on Bricklink? I do now. Yeah, I do. It, the thing, yeah, I mean, if there's something that they have that's really cool there, I remember once, 2019 is when I went to the first convention I've ever been to, and there was a guy there that had a massive castle build. And a whole ton of translucent blue tiles. I said, where did you get all these tiles? He says, pick a brick. I said, what's that? He told me. So he oh, said, yeah. I said to myself, if I ever see translucent colors on the pad wall, I'll grab a bunch. And that's pretty much all I've done. <laughs> <It's quite Yeah. laughs> oh, and some other parts here and there. So yeah, yeah. No, it's a good thing to do. Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll, uh, but, I'll yeah. pop you a thing. Definitely yeah. uh, prefer going for more targeted uh purchases on bricklink yeah yeah i was gonna get a load of uh, green bricks on sunday we and gaz and uh, alberto were gonna meet up and then, and then we found out that all the bloody shops are gonna be closed here on sunday <laughs> uh, uh so that was a nightmare uh but anyway another another day another time uh let's go let's go slightly north shall we let's go north let's, let's go to bright switch bricks now lauren quite recently i saw a big bag of yours on weight oh, i'm sure it was on scales actually mm -hmm. uh and i thought oh she's been at the pad wall but mm -hmm. did you used to go prior and get loads of the the pad jugs and cups i and honestly had so many pab cups that i ended up recycling a lot of them mm -hmm. um because i don't i've learned i don't i don't like clutter and keeping things around i i have enough clutter with the pieces let alone the cups and the cats kept knocking into them etc but i kept about 10 and i uh, well never mind mm. i i have several but um i found they're quite when you fit the lids on they're quite like a good storage so i've yeah. used mine for quite a bit of kitchen things <laughs> really <laughs> Yeah, why not? Why not? They, I mean, they are plastic. Yeah, I've They're taken like sealable. in the smaller one, like I've packed sugar for like trips and stuff whenever I need to go, like for coffee and whatnot. <laughs> when I need to travel okay. with my own coffee and stuff, I'll put sugar in the, one of the small ones because that lid is pretty secure. And so I've I've done a lot of that, but honestly, it's they're probably going to be used for some parts for a while until I fill out more of my um, part storage in my bulk areas but um yeah i imagine a lot of people have so many of them so yeah. it's a lot and then you can ha oh, who was it tech did it but i don't know who started it you drill a hole in the top you put a straw in yeah you've got a cup but there's only so many of those that you can 
you yeah. can, it's a good point it's a good shout but it's, it's a, it was a good thing to see as well um yeah i like that okay yeah, fair enough fair enough um she's so, so neat and tidy she really is certainly not a hauler uh but anyway someone who is a hoarder is of course uh, as we as we're learning tonight it's fab blondies so fab... No, no 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 i am not the hoarder. her it's her mom <laughs> Uh, well, my yeah, mom it's... is the hoarder. I am <laughs> recovering Liz. from her hoarding. Uh, okay, I was going to say, Liz, the, you know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> oh, uh, it's so very far from the tree. <laughs> very. Uh, oh, there's a story in there somewhere, folks. We'll find out about that one. Uh, I love reading between the lines with women. I really do. It's a thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so, Fab, um, Pab jugs uh, and, or cups, as some people call them. Uh, what uh, have you? Have you got millions of them? Have you thrown them all away, or do you use them for microwaving food? I don't know. What could you use them for? I don't know. So I don't have like millions of them, but I do use them to like help me sort. So like I actually at the beginning of the stream I was sorting through the VIP bags to try to get some pieces out, and like the pieces that I wasn't using that were oh, big, yeah. I put them in a pab cup. And there's some more back there, too. Yeah. And then, like, when I'm building a set, the small ones, I find that they're very handy that all the extra pieces, I put them in here until I'm ready to sort them. Yeah. Nice. Which I usually wait until the thing's, like, full. Okay, cool. That's pretty cool. much. And then, so like... You're using them for more organizing stuff or just mm -hmm. putting them into things and... Organizing. It helps me, like, sort them out. I use it to help me sort yeah that's good i like that i like that okay good stuff this is all good stuff this is uh sorting uh we've got martin out there as well it's martin good to see you, my friend um we'll ask gaz and then i'll ask the chat as well what what, what they think about uh their ones as well uh gaz probably fills these ones up with tissues or stuff like that i'm not too sure but anyway guys uh i thought that's what you were gesturing at at the moment uh so guys what, what do you do you guys you go to the pad wall a lot like too much um uh, but what do you do with your, with your pub bags <laughs> what, what, what goes on with them um sorry um i just at the minute they've just got parts in them to be honest um just when i've been sorting the stuff out um yeah. but i have used them for snacks as well so i've put uh <laughs> jelly babies in one um and Dude, then listening really yeah yeah of course <laughs> and then listening to lauren i was just thinking you know what you could probably do your own popcorn and take it to the mm. cinema in one actually because oh good shout well, because the buckets are too big in the cinema there's no mm -hmm. way you get it through it all we should i tell you what right if we ever see the lego movie on in the cinema we could do that all of us oh, bunch yeah, of us together yeah. and do it that's good so, i like that jealous good ideas mm -hmm. there we go yeah we're good wouldn't it all right let's go out liz um now liz your your area your home it looks so immaculate i can actually see your floor this is very strange uh, <laughs> yeah the... you can also hear one of my dogs barking in the background it's fine oh he's all right anyway uh well as long as he is anyway um, um what, do, you, do you have any do, 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 do you do you visit lego stores loads and pick have you got a collection of pep cups i yeah i have a collection i don't have that many but um i do use them for sorting and I do use them for, they're good water cups, um, not for drinking, well, probably that too, but for um, if I'm giving my dogs a bath, they're like a good size to like fill up water and rinse them. Um, mm -hmm. So I use them for that. And then I use them for um, soil because I like <laughs> my house plants and I, or gardening outside, and I will oh. use them to like transport soil to my pots. Yeah. So I have a that's, lot of different uses for them. Very green fingered of you. I like that. Yeah. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a different one. I was a bit surprised there. I love being in the garden. I really do. Um, all right. So uh, now I imagine, even at this moment, there's probably about at least 10 on their floor at the moment. I'll be surprised if there isn't anyway. Um, wow. Harry, uh, you, I'll you need to Harry. watch out, Greg, for the next time I see you. I'm Ooh, cruising for a uh, <laughs> uh, see you in Reading. Uh, I stick up behind you. Uh, so, a uh, single pad cup in here, just so you know. Really? Well, where are one? they? Oh, are shoot. They... Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, she's doing it. I can't room. see any. There's that round here. It's like this one here. Uh, <laughs> the only one. 
All right. So what do you what do you do with them then? So despite what you think about us being really unorganized and messy, um, every time we went to the store, we would empty the pub cup and put it into our part storage. So we don't have an excess of them because we would yeah. reuse them. You're good recyclable. So yeah, we were very. That, that's the whole point of the pub cups is you took them back yes. and then you got a discount. Yes. Yeah. So you didn't want to have a huge number. Yeah, I agree. Um, we have previously used them as sick buckets in the car for small children. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was well timed. That's horrific. <laughs> Did you then take them down to the store? Don't use before. those ones for popcorn. No, <laughs> no. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> at, at the cinema, you get too much popcorn. Oh yeah, I yeah. mean that, that's not true. Yeah. You know, cinema popcorn is not good popcorn. Of course it is. It's not. It's if you, got, if you got a small one, you'd have finished it before the trailers have finished. <laughs> Yeah, I do eat popcorn quite quick. It's like boom, 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 boom. It's 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 yeah. that's good. Uh, anyway, so uh, uh, really cool question. I mean, um, I, I've got quite a few. I use them. I got to be honest. Um, I I'm a, a bit like Fab really. I just use them for organising stuff uh, a lot more. And they are Lego. Is technically is Lego. I like to see. And I was surprised we didn't see any at Bricktastic. Might be a bad idea. That's why. Um, but I like to see someone use them in something like a I don't know New Hashima or something like that because they would stack really really well um especially with like a, a little bit of lighting in them or something like that i think that could be quite cool but anyway uh let's see what, let's see what they say out there in in the in the chat about it um minark uh, is saying oh good question i have tons of them stacked up at the moment um ko he's saying hmm uh i use uh, pap cups to store groups of minifigures so i know which fig to find it uh sometimes i use it to store random parts uh for an upcoming mock good idea again organizing oh, yeah. uh titanium j this is i use my pap cups for storage of parts i have large quantities of yeah that's a good point especially uh with jesse saying he uses them for his trans clear stuff uh martin there he's he gets a lot of lego this dude uh use them as cups for kids <clears> birthdays <throat> etc uh very good i like that i'm liking the the parents they're, 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 they're being almost entrepreneurial about how they use them uh matt mellish um matt mellish always got a, gives it all a big thumbs up well do me a favor as well folks give the stream a thumbs up especially if you're watching it on replay he goes i have a ton um i use mine for either lego part storage or sorting uh if i'm separating colors from the hall uh they're nice to throw in before i go and part them out uh, anyone else said anything? Uh, allegedly, says Polar Bricks, the reuse discount is stopping on the boxes at the end of the month. Really? Uh, I hope it's not true. The boxes are easily reusable and you can fold them down into a bag. You can. Again, yeah. very domestic. I like that. Hey, Ollie, says Brick Stage Pass, which obviously means we've got Ollie out there as well. There he is. Uh, and Minark, uh, I don't think Minark uh, is, is, is too up on the old. Uh, 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 being used as sick, <coughs> sick things uh you can still use cups for the pad wall uh i believe you can actually um ian uh any thoughts on that can we still use pad cups we can't in southampton yeah. i think was it february that changed i believe so and i um, asked think if you take any them. sort of discount on the boxes well we've asked about this and they yeah, said they they, they have no way. way of giving you a discount on the boxes uh, okay. that's so, a bit of a bummer that's it <laughs> uh the, the, another perk gone but there we go emmy sykes says i just use them to store random parts in yeah they are good for that um but uh yeah greg uh greg uses them for a madonna costume once uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> vogue uh, uh just saying uh days were the days folks can't, honestly best uh best decade ever i think is the 80s because it's like living back in the 80s now what with the tv and uh, all the stuff we're doing anyway on that note great question thank you for that jesse uh if anyone would ever like to do a pmq please do feel free to reach out to me as well i do reach out to peeps too but uh if anyone actually just wants to do one uh then please do get in touch and if you're watching this back on replay gang do me a favor leave a comment what do you think about this week's pmq and what do you do with your pab cups now on that note i think this is a nice sort of a nice time to sort of uh say goodbye to liz because liz has got to depart uh depart our ways now uh it's uh liz yeah. it's been great to see you i know it's a bit random yeah, i just contacted you yeah I, I contacted you last night just to say i know it's a bit random but you fancy coming on uh and she, she was like yeah so so liz tell us 
in the world of Lego or your podcast or anything like that, have you got anything you, that's coming up for you in the next week or two? Um, well, there's going to be a very special podcast episode that's going to come out on Monday. It's uh, featuring Greg. So, Greg. Um, so that's exciting. So look for that and I'll, I'll post about it too. Um, I actually just had a interview with Lego. So that's oh. a little bit exciting. Um, so yeah, that's kind of new in my life in that, in that sense. Uh, I haven't built much, but I did build part of the Nook's Cranny oh, well, today uh, and it's super so adorable. Sad. Look at this roof. Oh, it like, well, that's it's built so it snaps on the front here, but um, I, anyway, I know other roofs do this, but um, and then the windows you can change them so you can put these windows in or you can put these windows in so you can pop them out and change them out. Nice. So it's I think they look good, it's really fun. Yeah, I like that. And this is, is nice the mini fig, see. one of the mini figs that comes with it. Oh, Sorry, if it's super bright. Yeah. This is Molly. I tell you, what, I'm just saying, but you wouldn't want to stand on that head. Uh, that would hurt. No, of course not. Stand on head. Uh, all right, good yeah. stuff. Well, anyway, mm -hmm. uh, um, I look forward to hearing about your podcast coming out on Monday, especially. Uh, I'm definitely going to want to sit with, by myself for a moment to listen to that. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and when it does, of course, I'll uh, let everybody know about it uh, in my community too uh and like i said folks yeah. it will definitely be a, a kind of a uh, a cross section a mature cross section from me uh more so than ever before i think anyway but it'd be interesting it'd be cool and yeah. um please do check out uh liz's uh, podcast it's called uh, they're just humans uh, available on all platforms and uh it is really one of my favorite podcasts um so thank you for that liz mm, thanks Greg. and um yeah, and good luck with the with, with the Lego interview, whatever whatever that was. Um, I'm looking forward to hearing what may come of that. Um, yeah, I'll let that, you know about that. Thank you. Yeah, it's jolly <laughs> exciting that is. Um, but anyway, uh, you take care. Have a fabulous weekend, and um, yeah, enjoy any running or exercise or whatever it is you're going to be doing. And uh, uh, we'll we'll check you out on Instagram from time to time as well, which is always very cool. So, Liz, uh, have a fabulous. Yeah, weekend. thanks so much for having me and. Nice so you. nice seeing everyone yeah. on the panel yeah, and Lauren. Okay. Just... Hi, of course. Yeah, nice please. Seeing you for the first time. <laughs> so, <laughs> have a great Easter, everyone, birth. if you, if you yeah. uh, celebrate yeah, it. And... See you soon. Yeah. Enjoy your okay, weekend. Cool. Yeah. Bye, Liz. Bye. Take care, Liz. See you. Bye, Liz. Bye, bye. 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 Oh, well, that was uh, that was Liz, folks. Do check her out. Like I say, uh, she's got this uh, podcast coming out on Monday. And uh, we did it a few weeks ago. And, um, um, yeah. It's uh, it's something different. Anyway, enjoy it. Uh, so, with that in mind, I think uh, I think we're time now for a little bit. Maybe uh, checking out every week. We we do this little segment now, uh, Rick, um, mm -hmm. called uh, called Mock the Week. Uh, Gaz is going to tee it up for us now. So, Gaz, if you'd be uh, oh, yeah, kind so enough to uh, to tee it up, uh, oh, we yeah. can uh, we, we can get going with it. Yeah, and uh, so let's uh, let's do it, shall we? This is of course Mock the Week. Voila! God, that was nice, wasn't it? I like that one. Uh, so, guys, you, you, are you able to to share, or would you like me to? Yeah. Bring uh, yeah. So I've got my bit loaded up. I think you just need to press the button oh, to, okay. to launch it. We'll add it to the stage. So, all right, guys, <laughs> yeah. the, 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 yeah. uh, tell us a little bit about what on earth are we looking at, mate. Uh, so this one I saw this week. I think it's actually been doing the rounds because it is well deserved. It's really great. So it's by these two. Um, I just show you the picture there. So this is Dark Samish Gray and Kay Harmon. Um, they were at Brooks Cascade um, where they showed this mock off. And this this little post is quite sweet as well because they're just having a picture together. And then they've got, as you can see, there's a bit of a sneak preview of their mock there. But you can see all the little tokens mm. they've had. And all the appreciation they've had, mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. lovely to see. Love it's that. really nice because I think they started. They started doing that over here. I think oh. for Bricktastic, wasn't it? Giving the tokens out. But... Mushroom house, mushroom house. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's really great. I'll get out this one. I'm looking at it on the screen. So, uh, so this is this is the mock that I've picked out. This is just oh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Oh. So it's you've got so much going on with this one. You've got like the little mushroom village down the bottom. Um, you've got this tree, 
Um, and you can see inside the tree as well. It's um, and then you've got this really, really beautiful castle at the top in some really lovely colours as well. Um, and it's just lovely to look at. It's just one of those ones you look at and it just makes you smile, which I really love. I think it's, I, mean, I just can't stop looking at it, to be honest. Um, so, I mean, I've been looking at it a couple of times this week, but there's so much to see in it. I mean, it's, it insane. it's just, it is, isn't it? And the pine like, thing on the top there. Greg, can you zoom yeah. in, Greg, on that? Um, I don't know if we can because it's on I can't, yeah. Instagram. Oh, it's a bit funny yeah. with it. It, it but Insta yeah, we 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 can't on this uh okay. we, this yeah. is as big as it gets, yeah. I'm afraid for it. But <laughs> on one of the other ones, um yeah, um I think the <clears throat> pine cones made with frogs, I think. Very cool. I think it is. Um you know you look at that leaf at the bottom there. Oh, that's awesome. It is, isn't it? It's and just like all the little oh. details. I mean, if I come out of this one. Because you can see, oh, you can see inside it there. Inside of it, the oh, lights man. as well. It's all the little doorways and things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're really organic the way they've done them because mm -hmm. they've kind yeah. of like got vines and like it's all grown, which is lovely. Um, so I'll come out of this one because it's just got to the end of that. Uh, if we go into this one now, so this is a few more close-ups oh, of it. So yeah. it's, I mean, it's packed with so much detail, kind of. Um, so you've got like, all the mushrooms going on, and you can just see a glimpse here uh, inside as well. And I mean, the colouring they've got on the tree trunk as well, and just like the little ways up, little ladders, and little look out there with the telescope. Uh, so we'll move up to the next one. Uh, oh no, not that one. My bad. Wrong button. I'll try that again. I pressed the wrong button. Yes, yeah, this one. So yes, yeah, so this is another bit down the bottom. Oh. So you can see they've got a mix as well. They were uh, mini figures, and I think they're elves characters they must have uh, here. Or it maybe. <laughs> Do you know what? I even today, I when I was buying, I, I was looking for obviously the goats from the Simo series, and I, I got the vampire knight, which I absolutely adore. I even picked up a couple of these mushroom heads, and it's only because <laughs> one, my wife absolutely adores them, and secondly, Carrie uh, mm -hmm. does as well. She, they are cute. They are yeah, so cute. Yeah, they really yeah. are. Really, really and plus they got the acorn guy as well from the yeah. series back as well and the acorn guy really... uh, the hat was on the bam wall so that was quite good uh, okay. i like the uh flooring that leads into the oh man yeah this it's is really good just, everything so, is so uh, but look at the, all leaf, the leaf things coming down on the left hand side yeah. so leaf steps oh cool. yeah oh it, the curve on like, the roof the scalloping in the, the roof the was it the crown piece that they used in Avatar, the glow in the dark bit? Mm -hmm. and that here looks oh, like yeah. dandelion almost. Mm -hmm. It's just so fantastic. Um, yeah, and they've got close up of the castle, and again, all the, the little things. And the colors, oh, though, it's really. I've never oh. seen anyone do anything mm -hmm. like this in those colors. Mm -hmm. No, it really pops though, just because it is so different, and just like, and they've just got. I think they've got like a color mix just right as well because you've got like the pink and the red here, which really sort of just draw your eye there, but you can then yeah. see all the details around it as well. Um, and I love the fact that we've got the pine cone and then almost like an upturned, must be a sunflower, I guess, the way it's done with the yellow. Oh, yeah. It could be a yeah, dandelion. Yeah. 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 Oh, it was a dandelion. It, interestingly, dandelion. Uh, Lego Danny Bob has uh, put a comment on it as well. And uh, according to a comment, this is being featured on Beyond the Brick as well. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, great colours. That it's, green really yeah. works for that tan. Yeah. Oh. It's quite sort of pastel like, isn't I, it? But I mm -hmm. think the, um, the, the the way they've done the circular towers, I think they've done them with one by two um, kind of rounded off plates. Yeah. They're really such a good. <clears throat> Brick, I, mean, I did have some on my desk actually. They almost look like they're weaved as well. Um, yeah, yeah, it does look like it's woven. Yeah, it's woven. That's the yeah, like a almost like a basket, isn't it? You know, it's kind yeah, of that yeah. sort of texture on there. And even though, like the wall, I don't think they've used any masonry bricks either. Actually, maybe or maybe one or two. Yeah, but, um, Ian, will like that. Bring... Ian will like that. Yeah. He doesn't like all those profile bricks. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. Just lazy. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, it's all right. Then. <laughs> uh, see, we've got another bit down the bottom, but yeah, you've got the mix oh, of there's acorn dude. Yeah, and the is it, it must be an elf. Yeah, an elf I don't know. Yeah, 
you, here's, here's the thing, right? Mini mini dolls, right? I was just thinking about this, right? Wouldn't it be good? I, I'm just throwing it out there. You know, people sort of say, oh, we should get Star Trek. That would be good. What mm. about if they did Star Wars in minifigures? They're always going to be in minifigures, but they did Star Trek as mini dolls. I'd be in. I'd get that. Yeah. Just throwing that one. If it works, yeah. That's what I would do. Okay. Um, what do you think of all this, Carrie? Because, Carrie, this is kind of very you. Is, you. Yeah, this is my perfect mock, I would say. I love it. Yeah. Um, the, I mean, there's something to see every every little nook and cranny, essentially, and it's just it's that kind of theme that I like: mushrooms, fairies. That oh, I just love it. Look inside. Oh, it's yeah. so cool. It is, isn't it? It's I just... need to get closer. <laughs> <clears throat> it is, I think it's one of those ones that if you you know if you see it up close in person, you're going to be there just studying it, aren't you? And it's just all the little bits, like even like how they've done the flowers as well. I mean. Yeah, I was just seeing that. That's a really cool technique for getting it to hang over. Yeah. And with, what is it, the Wolverine? Oh, they've got like two bits it? of grass. Yeah, there. it's two bits of grass and then like a carrot stalk holding them together. Yeah. Yeah. That is, really... that is that's detail, man. That's great. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that makes it pretty well on that guy. <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? Uh, is that the last one? Oh, there you go. Another one. No, so another close up oh, of the actual door. Nice. It's a great shape as well, though. Just the way they've done that. And the, you know, obviously a nice colour oh, as well, because it all goes. Door. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I did, do you know, I didn't actually notice that. <laughs> that is cool, was. man. But look at that. But and they've got some the window, of the... I mean, with that detailing, it's just so cool. Yeah. It changes it completely, doesn't it, from a standard window to just... Oh, and some some of those um, foliage pieces that we're getting in the um, in the new Friends Rover set, they're gonna they're gonna complement this as well. Oh yeah, because um, that's they're game changers, man. That's gonna really really up the game on mocks and stuff like that. So yeah, so that's theirs, and so it's that's dark Samish Gray and K Harm, and they've both done it in a collaboration together. It's just absolutely phenomenal. I absolutely think it's fantastic. But you can understand as well, they got all those tokens. It's like, yeah, I'd probably give them one as well if I was there, to be honest. I'm sure. <laughs> uh, so. Craigster says, he goes, I'm not sure you have any more mushrooms uh, to fit uh, for <laughs> any more details. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Menarch said this is phenomenal, which it totally is. It looks amazing. Yeah. Uh, well, welcome to you, Farah. Uh, says, London Bridge Peaks. Hi, Greg. Uh, great, uh, great thanks. And uh, haven't been on the stream for a while. It's great to have you here, mate. And uh, Rebecca Barter uh, says, she goes, I love this. Uh, yeah really good find uh gaz uh yeah. looks phenomenal it really does yeah. um I Minark mean, totally loves it it really does yeah. and uh <laughs> the uh, the big boss says Southampton aren't even using the seal stickers are they not like, uh, uh and uh brick excuses actually plate yeah I've been throwing mine away uh when I get them uh I think I've put them in the recycling but not sure if you're like those paper bags uh well, they have waxy lining yeah I think the waxy lining is just uh, for protection and stuff like that but you should be able to recycle them because obviously the wax lining just melts off during the process. So it's fine. Oh, does it? Ah, that's yeah. good. And I'm, as I'm long sure as you it... tear it, it doesn't kind of form layers. Mm -hmm. And then that means it's recyclable. Ah, okay. That's good to know. Uh, Emily Sykes says, I really do love this. And we've got Brett's builds out there. Brett, I haven't seen you for a little bit, mate. Uh, great to have you here. It really is um and thank you for leaving a like as well i appreciate that and if anyone's watching this back do me a little favor as well uh please do give the stream a like and of course check out everybody you'll find everyone's details down of course in the description below um mm -hmm. and uh welcome to euphoria uh wte says Minark adora build was building those sets on her stream the same one uh that liz showed just now uh quite a nice vibe about those yeah indeed uh, in fact over the course of this weekend um i might randomly pop up as well and build this animal crossing one never played the game <laughs> uh i'll check it out see what it's all about but this uh i think i'll probably build it in about an hour or maybe three i'm not sure uh, but anyway well, watch out folks i will randomly just pop up at some point um bit like the easter yeah. bunny really um hello it's me. <laughs> yeah hello only me uh but yeah but, uh honestly gaz uh phenomenal mate it looks yeah. really good what a great yeah. guy and so can yeah. you remind us who the name of uh of this guy is yeah uh so there's two there's dark samish gray and the uh, get back into it on and the other one was k is it k dot underscore harmon look at the hats they've matched their yeah harmon. they How do cool it's very his and hers <laughs> i love it what a beautiful People. couple yeah, yeah. absolutely amazing really uh, good stuff honestly 
Uh, I love it. Uh, the, the creativity out there is uh, second to none. It really is. Um, good stuff. Good stuff. Now then, with that in mind, guys, great choice. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, and do check them out, folks. Uh, like I say, check them out on Instagram. Um, should we go? Has anyone been? Anyone else been building anything tonight? Uh, Bright Switch Bricks. Was you building anything, or was you just kind of? I started putting together the Quidditch trunk, oh, and then I got tired. <laughs> You got, you got to, oh no. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to have to uh, go back to sleep after this to catch some Z's before my shift. But it's Ooh. nice. Um, I really love like the hood pieces. This is my first time like really seeing oh, them. Oh, oh. Right. oh, that's nice. Is it soft oh, is or is, nice. it, is it hard? No, um, it's hard rubber plastic, right? Yeah, rubber. it's hard rubber plastic. It's not, oh, okay. it's kind of like Yoda's ears and head. It's that same kind oh. of, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, the, the rubbery. It's, it's still mm. quite bendy. Mm -hmm. It's not too form, but it's just these hoods that are that ex give it this extra flair. And I'm mm. so happy they've done, yeah. they've done this. Really you get nice. like all color capes. This is definitely, I think this is retiring at the end of this year, which is, ugh. So sad because I'm not sure about its seventy dollar price tag, but hmm. uh, it's I, I want to pick up several more while it's on sale to get more of this. And are these I'm printed tiles as well? Nope. Look at this. Oh, oh god! Oh, god. Hey, hey. oh wow. dear! They don't. They, they look a bit stickers. <laughs> they look a bit harsh. Oh, damn. damn! This is like the size of the. The book, yeah. Book. Oh, no, Which, bit. you know, fair, okay, but oh. yeah, it's a bit of a steep price for a trunk like this, but oh. it's fine. Oh, God, well. gotta love it. This comes with the Harry <laughs> Potter, it comes, it, it comes with the, the territory, yeah, it does. Right, okay, <laughs> Pretty I, 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 yeah, I don't know, yeah, they, what happened so close. <laughs> that is a lot of At least they're big stickers, anyway. Uh, yeah, that was quite. Uh, that, sorry, I kept you on, on, on uh, large there for a little while there, uh, okay. Lauren. It was a, I had a bit of a I had a bit of a freeze up on my system. Uh, these pictures they can be uh, they can be dangerous. <laughs> uh, Brickbots, have you been doing anything tonight? Have you have you been uh, I don't know, uh, been, like, little pirates or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, it was <laughs> stuff. Yeah, Ian's uh, got a friend. Uh, yeah, they're worried it's gonna fall off. <laughs> um, I I won this at our lug uh, lug yeah. meet this week, so oh. Oh. a lug meet. What, what, what did you do to win it out of curiosity? Um, I built a little scene which is in that box there. Um, so I get it out. you can get it out if you like carefully. Do you want me to show off the other um, stuff? I also got this, which is mm -hmm. the hey, very <laughs> 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 nice. That's a nice. Um, Ian built wait for it. We this one. Oh. 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 Ian, what did you think about that? I've not built my one yet, but I have noticed a, a fault with it. Um, otherwise, though, what do you think of it? It's, it's the head. Yeah, I want, I want the mouth to open, but it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of sad. Oh, it can't eat anything. Then. And this one, yeah, it looks one. really good though. Um, yeah, it does. I find it slightly weird. So, like, you've got as you're building it, you then get the section hmm. where it's like choose your own kind of adventure bit hmm. but then like you go back the legs are the same whichever choice you make hmm. so it kind of seems like well why don't you build that before making the choice hmm. it, it seems a little bit weird i mean i guess at that point the choice would only be a couple of pages each and they want to make it look maybe like it's a more substantial choice than it is yeah oh, but, tricking you yeah i mean yeah, i seem to think they, it does open Mm -hmm. We can't get it to open. It definitely doesn't. It, it, I'm not sure how you'd open it because the way it's attached means that it can't open. Yeah, so, we'll, we'll look I into mean, it. You can take oh, it off, God. but uh, well, they said, they don't said show that now. Oh my I'll God! Check in yeah. and it directly, and yeah. I'll get back to you. Well, they show they show some pictures. Show us oh, some yeah. show some pictures. Yeah, yeah, you Oh, we want to see your mock. Oh, yeah, sorry. No, no, no. Let's have a look. Uh, you want a whole Lego set for this? What, what, so we'll look at this as well. We've been oh, busy. Wow. Yeah. Um, nice, Ian. Oh, oh, awesome. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, 
Uh, he's painting an egg. Uh, there is a there's an, an egg in oh, there no. with um, a crocodile face on it that he's going to paint in a second. Ian's got okay, I, I've yeah. got to ask a question here. Right? Two, two things that come to mind. Uh, I, I'm sure that was a gift we purchased, but some of that one time. That, that um, was a gift we purchased. I've, I've oh, yeah. modified it slightly, but not much. Now, I know for a fact. Uh, hold it up, Carrie. Hold it up. Uh, I know for a fact. Thank you. Uh, I know for a fact that you love purple, but you hate that color purple yeah well this is What's the only on? color in masonry bricks i've got some darker purple in there as well on right. the in... And then the eggs aren't too bad a color. The eggs are quite actually. They look like mini eggs actually. They look lovely. Uh, <laughs> in, 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 so you scored the floor two out of uh, ten uh, today. <laughs> quite low, quite low. What about Carrie's mock? Uh, would you would you go higher or lower? <laughs> He's going to get in trouble remember. if he gives it ten. Uh, two Easter yeah. eggs. Remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah Easter eggs, Ian. It's, uh, it's not. It's not a ten. I, I mean, I did that on my stream on Twitch this week, and it was. Oh, it was Carrie, lovely. well done. Yeah. And it was, yeah, it was good fun. It was, uh, Polar Bricks was very helpful with suggesting mm. parts, parts as well. Mm. And um, because it's only a small build, because that was the limit for the, the build, my daughter wants to add some more on. So that's our activities done for Easter. So it's going to be That's why I was building this one to add on. Oh, love it. Love an Easter build. Now, talking of uh, Polar Bricks. Uh, and oh, good parts it. usage. How about this then? Uh, for the brick separator, this is pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, that's really good. Very cool. That. That's very cool. Great use oh. for that. Nice. I like the way he's done that. It's very yeah. symmetrical. Um, kind of the very cool. For it, uh, this is Annie as well. Look, he's got a cat. There's mm -hmm. cat there. He's got a big beard. It's almost a little bit like Ian there, but if he was a bit redder. I'll be right uh, back, Greg. Yeah, yeah, no worries, dude. Uh, we've got next. This is uh, this is uh, Ballon Bricks. Uh, oh. He's building up a bit of a city at the moment. Oh, it's got loads nice. going on here. Well, that train nice. looks like it's moving quite fast as well. Actually. It does, it's kind of... it? Yeah. It's good. Very, very, very cool. Like that. Oh, I don't know what that piece is there. But anyway. uh, we've got a, a couple more pictures from him as well. This is a nice angle. That's the, uh, is that the town hall or the fire station? Town Hall. Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah, good stuff. Oh, that's an old one as well, I think. I mean, that's one of the first ones. Oh, gosh. I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. The uh, market street. Yeah, bonjour. Oh, uh, Parisian restaurant. But that good parts usage there with the mm. uh, Le Croissant. Yeah, I like that. Uh, pan au chocolat uh, <laughs> my, is my preference. What was that? My, my <laughs> uh, there we go. He's, he's working on it. I like the way, I like the, 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 the tunnel that's being worked on there. Which is <laughs> oh, nice. That's nice. Um, yeah, really nice building. Oh, there's a diner. I can't, I can't wait to build my diner. I really can't. It's, 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 uh, I love the colours in it. Uh, this is Mr. Chalice. Uh, he sent this through to me. And uh, oh, I like the horse. That's pretty cool. Um, Town Centre Trial. Uh, maxi figures. Yeah, the thing. it's big. That is big. Yeah, the maxi figures are great. Uh, they are. Oh, the horse. Yeah. He must be pretty That's solid. Amazing. Yeah, that, that is solid. Yeah. That'd be heavy as well. I mean, that's that's like a hobby horse. That one, uh, it really is. <laughs> um, oh, he's saying he was a collab build. Oh, of course, he built it with his uh, with his uh, his, his his better half as well. Uh, uh, Polar, remind, uh, remind us what your uh, other half's name is. Um, here we go. Lego Fan Festival at, uh, at Ware Priory. Uh, displays activities and workshops. Uh, might be getting uh, uh, someone on soon. James Gage uh, from. Uh, hey, cool. He's going to be going there, and uh, he said he, he said to be a big tastic. He'd like to come on. So we're going to try and get him on. Um, here we go. Uh, I had to say what? your Echo Bricks without wow. saying <laughs> your Echo Bricks. Oh, that's cool. Printed. That's a good little scrambler. That I like the tires. I do like a knobbly tire, don't you guys? No, yeah. <laughs> Just don't <saying>. say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Can't beat a knobbly tire. Yeah, <laughs> be. Uh, there we go. Uh, this is a bit of a wow. random picture. This, but this is. I was showing. Uh, I showed my wife uh, where I used to work, and uh, I used to work literally facing a film set. Uh, it was an all day, and this this is it. This is uh, this is this is part and parcel of the film set. Huh. Um, but yeah, a bit of a random picture. But yeah, thought I'd show you what an old. I think it's a Morris Minor. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Like. Um, there's a few pictures in here as well from just some shots that I took when I was uh, at the Art of the Brick in London uh, last week, which which I thought was oh, yeah, actually quite good. I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. But when it comes to things like uh, thinking about technique and stuff like that. There isn't really too much technique about it, to be honest. It's just loads of bricks put put together. 
but it was um it was interesting uh for sure uh <laughs> this is me uh with this this guy mm-hmm. well, he wasn't looking too interested uh so i thought i'd do the same as well not look too interested <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh but th- these ones were really 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 cool um uh, 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 red round head uh blue square head hey, uh, blockhead <laughs> yeah blockhead <laughs> yeah blockhead uk <laughs> Uh, got, so Ooh, what would you call pyramid it? Head. Oh, pyramid head. I like that. That's I was going to say triangle. Actually, that yeah. That's from Silent Hill as well, isn't it? Silent that's, Hill, yeah. That's yeah. first thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, Silent Hill. That was a that was a brilliant... Uh, uh, that didn't even remind me there. I think these were good. It was, it was just oh. really interesting spaces with stuff, mm. you know? Um, this mm-hmm. was quite good oh, as well. Oh, that's cool. Like that. yeah. Oh, that's wicked. Love that. Yeah. Hmm. Was. and the, the lighting was very very good as well it's like it's really it was all very dark but it was the, the spotlights were absolutely on the they were spot of... on oh there you go. <laughs> they were. is that is that an illegal uh lego uh uh not if it's a tile if it's a oh it's a tile you're right yeah so yeah. it's not oh i like it uh that was in a really ro- that was a ro- in a room full of mirrors and uh really cool sonics and things like that love that um yeah, good chat, actually. When are we going to see a Morris Minor Lego set? We'll do one day. There we go. Um, there will, I, I will be doing a video about this. Uh, I'll, I'll do a short. You can see there, look, at the old uh, Osmo Pocket 6. Uh, uh. Uh, <clears throat> and that was taking a shot from above, as they say. Uh, the cool. dove from above. It was the dove from above. Moving <laughs> 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 um, on swiftly. There's a dinosaur. It's what, mm. If someone said to you, Greg, I want you to do a T Rex. You've got 85,000 uh, bricks. Uh, this is pretty much what I'd come up with, uh, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> but it is, it is very cool. It is really good. Really cool. Like to see it is kind of quite spectacular. Mm. Um, it really is. And, now, and a lot of people got in touch with me over the weekend because I, I posted this picture on Instagram and people were saying, is that just a fat just chip? Fat chip. Yeah, uh, it's so bad. Looks but it's, so called, good. It's, it's called a thousand potato and it is literally, it's like dolphin <laughs> noir meets, uh, meets chip, really. And it is, <laughs> it's, it's really hundreds of little thin slices of it. And it was, oh, I'm not joking, folks, it was so tasty. It really was. <laughs> yeah, I loved it. Yeah, I loved it. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, anyway it was yummy and i had that with a lovely chicken sandwich as well it's called uh the the rise of the sandwich it's very very cool um and it's it it was in uh, spitalfields market which is just opposite brick lane uh and they do some great food uh we'll go there one day uh this is uh mayor hosko uh sent this in um he's uh making some lego city sets look more vintage uh because that's his that's his lego friends set actually is it? Was this the friend yeah, set? Oh, I thought you said it was like the, a... uh, friends. Um, was it oh, the street or something like that? High oh, street? Main Street, friends. Main, main street. street. That's it. Okay, that, 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 okay. that makes sense now. Yeah, and he's uh, made it look older, uh, vintage. And he's taken all the purple out. So. Oh, is that it? Oh, oh. Yeah. oh hmm. purple's not vintage, is it? No. Is it but not? It is better. It's not vintage. <laughs> is purple a relatively new color then? Uh... Well, vintage was just. Blue, yellow, red, and white. Oh, what is that? Oh, yeah. 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 Right. That's exactly fair right. Not even green at that point. So. Yeah, so I mean, they've got new plant pieces on there. Just not on it. It's vintage ish. Vintage ish. Yeah. Well, they, had, uh, they had the plant pieces with like the forks coming out. They had those in some of the castle sets. Yeah, yeah the trees that were green too. Yeah, 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 but no, those like three leaf bits. Oh are, yeah, that's no, yeah, no, no. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, yeah. No. All right, all right, fair enough. All right, they, they're just tweaking everything on there tonight. Hey, uh, that's the new elementary uh, uh, stuff we were talking mm-hmm. about earlier on, folks, about the rover. Uh, rewind no. about an hour and a half. You'll, you'll cover that. Uh, this is from oh, Nicole. Uh, there we go, Lady Nicole, Milk Brick. Look at that. <laughs> that's nice, isn't it? So cool. That. Mm-hmm. At Lady McBrick, you is, her, at Lady McBrick on Instagram, of course, the the beautiful uh, Lady McBrick. She'll be on again in a couple of weeks. Uh, oh, what have we got This is nice, isn't it? What's going on here? Oh, it's some, really pretty. Some purple geezer with a square head. Do you like him? <laughs> like him. That's Carrie's favourite minifigure, probably. Um, got some yeah. flowers going. I don't know what that's all about, but anyway, it looks nice. Uh, oh, Love Spring. Here we go. Love Spring. This is nice. A little kind of like a rainbow waterfall. 
Uh, and uh, there's Lady Mootbrick there. Who's that meant to be on the on the right hand? That's oh, her yeah. too. Those are both her sig figs. Is she it? She has two uh, different ones. She's playing with herself. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, I like it. I like it. I like the purple. I like it. I don't know if I like her in purple or green best. Uh, Fab, <laughs> you got, have you, uh, she's she's a uh, an associate streamer with you. Uh, which do you prefer? The the do you prefer Nic Nicole in green or Nicole in? Uh, I didn't even know uh, that she had a green sig fig until a couple weeks ago. <laughs> so I don't. I like both of them. I like that. Honestly. Oh, look, there's a lot of detail. Yeah, this is lovely. Great piece of work. Yeah. Man. Uh, really is. Very nice. colourful. Yeah, I love yeah, this. Uh, they're talking to colourful. Look at this. Look, look. This is uh, this here. Uh, this dragon here. I've got to say, it's lovely. Comes oh wow. From Ninjago. Uh, mm -hmm. I can't remember which one. Titanium. If you're out there still, let me know which one it is from. It's a nice looking dragon there. Yeah, yeah it's really good. Really nice. Really nice. This is nice, isn't it? It's, this is like. Um, there's a place outside the uh, Royal Courts of Justice in London. There's a building. That looks just like this. Um, this is nice. Oh, it's a nice turkey there. Let's get a taste. <laughs> nice uh, 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 Kit Kat there and uh, 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 what oh, what's French thing? bread. What's that French bread called? French rolls, yeah, or French, yeah. French rolls. That's it. Um, we've got a pie there. Oh, look, mm -hmm. lemon meringue pie there for Ian. Oh, like he will. That's all meringue. Yeah, Gaz is on a diet. He just have a carrot. Uh, well, mm -hmm. like that. Oh, another good carrot, though. Yeah, it does the RP yeah. uh, There we go. <laughs> nice there we go. The tower's looking good. Oh, no, to eat, carry. Yeah, oh, yeah. To eat, of course. Uh, I, think I like that. It's a nice uh, little bit of detail he's got there. Um, oh, it's nice, isn't it? It's nice. It's good. It? We've got goats there. Look, we've got a collection. It's a nice collection ah. of goats there. We've done some sort of mills thing down here as well. I'm liking that. Is it going to be a Reading this year, I think, isn't it? It's going to be a Reading. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. this is a Reading build. Right. Yeah. Okay, good stuff. Oh, look, it's a Grim Reaper again. He keeps he keeps popping up in his one. Is, <laughs> is that his sig fig? Because I've got to be honest, having a, a Grim Reaper as a sig fig is a bit dark no, for my liking. He's got a different sig fig, but maybe that's like a recurring character. Yeah, yeah I think Ollie's sig fig is uh, in green with a ghetto blaster. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Well, you're right there, Gaz. Uh, he's, I think he just dropped his cat. Uh, this is from uh, Richard uh, Skumas, uh, Lego Man 34 on uh, Instagram. Uh, he got in touch with me to say the art of the brick of Philadelphia, uh, he saw. Hmm. I, th I actually thought this was the Bank of England when I first saw it, and it's not. It's, uh, it is in Philadelphia. Uh, which is very cool. I like that. This was a great image as well. But yeah, I will be doing a quick video on, on my experience there, folks. Uh, Rick. Tell us a little bit about what we're looking at here, because it looks very cool. <clears throat> well, this was um, this was for Let's Build Space Invasion, uh, one of uh, Kate Brick Huntress's uh, Instagram build challenges. Yeah. And this was a um, I crammed this in the night before the due date because time was not something I had, and so this is uh, an alien ship hovering, like a UFO hovering over a some space of land. Oh. And, and uh, a, a state trooper standing outside. Um, I called him Bill Mesmerized. So he's mesmerized by the lights of the tractor beam. I love that. Yeah. So cool. Really cool. Oh, I like that. You got the police car That's lit cool. up as well. Yep. Yep. Oh. And they blink. They fly like the police car lights flash between red and, and blue. Oh, um, and, huh. and that's a light kit that I got in the party bag from Brick World 2022. In really? oh, I just happened to have it and I thought, oh, I could light this up. And so the base of this is actually the Tatooine homestead mm -hmm. uh, gift with purchase. I think it was a gift with purchase, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah and I was looking around frantically. Yeah. I, I was thinking about building terrain and I thought, I, I don't have enough time to really <laughs> build something. And I looked around frantically, what could I use? And I saw that and thought, oh my gosh, it's Why not? literally perfect. Yeah. That's uh, really cool. Yeah. What is this part? I, have, I can't recall. That seeing. is the top and bottom of one of these. Oh, let's have a look. So this is a um, X pod container. Yeah. And the top and bottom just sort of twist on. And a, a few years back for the uh, Daily Brick Limit Challenge, I was trying to make a seven piece build and I thought, I really want to make a UFO. And I saw the lids and I thought, I wonder if they'll connect together. And sure enough, they do. 
Sweet. Ah, so it worked perfectly. Whoa. That part, that blue um, translucent bar part, that came from Doctor Who, the Doctor Who uh, idea set. Mm -hmm. It's part of the um, TARDIS. Uh, TARDIS yeah. Yeah. I'd like to see someone make up a mini Starship Enterprise using this. Because uh, mm. now they have the part. They do have the part, which is good yeah. to see. Yeah, it's kind of hard to fit anything between them. So you'd have mm -hmm. to build off the... I mean, that would work. It comes off the bottom. But yeah, that would be great. They only yeah. don't come in any other color, but I have lime green, purple, yellow, orange. There's no gray, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh. Amazing. Um, I remember watching this show when I was a kid called The Invaders. It was an American oh, TV yeah. show. And the UFOs always were the proper sort of flying saucers. Mm -hmm. um, this would look great. If you could, you could convert this into a habitat and uh, the, the, the UFO dude from the new CMF series could be in it. Uh, yeah. Be good. yeah. Excellent. Yes, exactly. I like that. Now, if only I'd had this picture earlier on. Oh, <laughs> yeah. This, this is sent in from uh, uh, TGA. Um, uh, showing these off. And... Um, <laughs> there we go Look. so are these when when do these become available um may 1st oh may okay 1st. so literally like not we've got to wait literally a month and a couple of days mm -hmm. um but there we go there's the little baby which looks cool but um <laughs> I, I love i still love this astronaut i think this astronaut yeah. has a lot more than anything else of the others to give um i do like that it's almost like yeah. I'd like to see, I know it's going to sound really weird, but mini, a minifigure series, CMF series, a minifigure CMF series done out to look like uh, minifigs in the costumes of Transformers. I'd <laughs> mm -hmm. be up for that shockwave, yeah. sound wave, mm -hmm. Megatron. I'd love it. I was going to uh, say earlier, we could call the uh, the penguin their laser beak, which was a <laughs> Oh, yes. Yeah. Like it. Laser beak. Laser beak <laughs> a, we'll call it that. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh but, but anyway yeah your secret safe for me um this is um uh this is from this is a picture uh, from two gay foals uh this is nice so this is apollo very cute um <laughs> yeah, quite cute, that uh, is adorable I know. Yeah. Carrie's not going to get it though. Ian is, but Carrie's not going to get it because she doesn't really like friends. Yeah, friends. all Lego in, my, in the house is mine, so it's fine. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> well, there we go. Blimey, that's uh, divorce settlement sorted. Green um, <laughs> up. Uh, this is uh, anyone, one of my favorite sci fi movies. Uh, I know I go on about Star Trek, uh, the motion picture, but I actually quite like 2001 and Space Odyssey. Yes, I do. I do like uh, very slow moving movies, um, but their <laughs> outfits are very much like this in that. Yeah, there we go. I think they wore glasses, but anyway, look at the wheels. Look at that. Oh, I like the lights. These are big wheels as well. Looking forward to getting them. Oh, there is someone in the background there on their hover. Oh, look at the plants, look at the foliage. This one's out on the first of April. This one, isn't it? This comes out on Monday, so Monday, yeah. first of April. Don't forget, folks, this Sunday at one o'clock for everyone in Europe and uh, in England as well, and uh, the rest of the United Kingdom. Uh, the clocks go forward ah, one yeah. hour. So you guys do that too, eh? Wow, I didn't know yeah. that. Well, we catch up with the Americans. Mm. Then the Americans decided to do it about three weeks ahead of the rest of the yeah, world. Yeah, we've already done it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. They've already done it. They've gone through the pain. Mm -hmm. uh, there we go. This is from uh, Trevor's videos. Uh, this is very cool. It is Easter cute. after all, like that. Yeah. It's cute, actually, isn't it? It's yeah. cute. Uh, very, very cute indeed. Um, and that, folks, is all this week's pictures. Thank you, as always, for sending them through to me. You can send them to me any day of the week. If you want, last week, I had a couple of people send them through to me on a Sunday. But feel free uh, to send them through to me any time of the week, whenever you fancy it. Uh, and like I always say, it's one of my favourite segments. And uh, thank you, everybody, who sent them to me. You can send them to me either londonbridgebricks at gmail.com or, of course, you can simply just DM me here over on Instagram. Anyway, on that note, I think uh, we've just well, we've just under the three hour mark. We might make it to be the three hour stream for once. That'd be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, what can I say? Uh, we had Liz in earlier on as well, so it was lovely to see her. Check out her podcast coming on uh, Monday. That's kind of, and that's no joke as well, folks. April April the first. Um, so let's start yeah. with Gaz, shall we? Gaz, yeah. um, are you going to be doing anything over the course of this weekend, my friend? Um, not 
too short now. I'll probably be doing some mocking stuff. I have actually got a few bits and bobs I need to get sorted for uh, that one next weekend. Black Country Brick Show. That's the one. <laughs> oh, yeah. That one. Yeah, doing that's, it, doing that that's one. next weekend. Uh, we've got Mock Heads on Wednesday as well. Um, that's going to be uh, someone called Bricker Picks who's going to be on. So we'll be speak, chatting to her, all things Mock. She has a, I have not seen her do anything for a while on Lego. She is she's in Billund at the moment. Uh, yeah, we know. She's, yeah, she's doing stuff. Well, she's she, not doing any YouTube. She's doing stuff. stuff. Yeah, she's doing <laughs> yeah. stuff. She's doing <laughs> stuff. Doing stuff. Yeah. Um, That's how I feel yeah. a lot. <laughs> yeah, I like doing stuff. I could, I could just do stuff all day long, to be honest. Right. Um, but yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And um, you never know, I might do some sort of a pop up thing on. Mm. Monday as well. It's Monday. Uh, is that we, Monday, Tuesday? That's Monday. Monday, Tuesday, so, Monday, Tuesday. Sh Monday. Yeah, sh Monday. Um, Monday. Um, sh Monday. But yeah, Easter eggs. Uh, guys, you, you're a bit, the, you love a bit of chocolate. Have you had any Easter eggs yet? No, I've, I've been talking about this. Um, I really don't want to be spending £8 on like 100 grams of, or less than that, of chocolate when you can get £2 on like 500 grams. So it was like, nah. <clears throat> I want to just get a bar of chocolate if I'm going to get any. But oh, guys. Economicals. Yes. Yeah, exactly. More. I want more for my money than less. He, want <laughs> he wants more bang for his buck. Yeah. Uh, more bangers for my buck. Oh, there we go. Uh, <laughs> that sounded a bit weird, guys. We'll we, we leave it there. We'll leave it there. Gaz and his bangers. Uh, now, talking of bangers, <laughs> folks, uh, don't forget to check out the survey. Uh, we're closing it off in a moment. We've got 83 votes on that. Thank you, everybody, who voted on that. Um, basically, in the lead at the moment with 41% is the 2024 Dungeons and & Dragons. Uh, and uh, not too many miles away is the 2024 Space Series. So if you want to make any changes or anything like that, get your vote in now next up of course is uh is mr rick brickham uh rick you'll be doing anything over the ne in the next week or two maybe um well uh, you were asking earlier if we built anything on the stream i actually did build oh. this set let's have a look let's have a look yeah, so well, that's just the box the, <laughs> the jeep is so awesome yeah yeah, yeah man i mean yeah. really really great so I picked this up a couple of weeks ago because um, during our spring break, I took uh, my kids to see the Jurassic Park, the exhibition, oh, which came, cool. which came to town. Yep. It's only here for, I think they're here for a year. So I, uh, I got in with them and they had a great time. We enjoyed that. Um, next couple of weeks in terms of my goals, probably going to get back to the mock uh, piece buying next week, hopefully. And right now I'm actually working on a, commission for um, a community wow. member so cool. that's pretty cool i haven't really talked about it at all until right now um it's not nothing massive but it's very cool to be making something for somebody that's cool oh, yeah that's great yeah wow that's all right it. very cool that sounds good doesn't it uh uh craig's right there is to say he's getting easter eggs for free quit uh oh wow he's some old money bags out there uh, <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> uh anyway well, good luck with that rick uh i'm Thanks. Will you be, well, I, I suppose you can't really show pictures of that because it's I can't, a commission. No. But yeah, uh, is, yeah. I'll look forward Eventually, to... I hope to be able to post it. Um, I'm yeah. sure I'll be able to, yeah. Yeah, exactly. In, in due course, we look forward to that. Uh, exactly. Uh, uh, watch out. Thanks. It's going to be epic, whatever it is you do. Uh, now, <laughs> talking of epicness, uh, Bright Switch Picks, uh, I, I, I can hear your bed calling you. Mm. Uh, oh, my God. For, it's going to be immediate. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this <laughs> is why like I can't. I love streaming whenever I can, but this is why I try and schedule it when I don't think I'm going to be working in between night shifts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, night shifts is harsh. Um, are you? I take it then uh, with, with that sort of slightly subtle hint. Um, are you? Not, you are you going to be doing anything in the next week or so? April the first. I or... am more. I am head down to the gr like nose to the grindstone saving making money and saving up for these big release dates mm. I, i'm looking forward to those yeah i need to sort <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. that eventually will happen like one of my two days off i had like <laughs> this past week it was when i went to the pap wall and where you know like my friends were making fun of me and i'm like i don't have access to lug bulk okay <laughs> this i see pieces i want and i have to take advantage because mm. then we're going to look at each other going 
remember back four years ago when that was on pab like <laughs> hey and it was one of the few times that our pab wall had like a really good selection exactly and i'm hoping um, it's still gonna be there on monday but it I was it. wild i didn't know what was happening um, <laughs> so crazy it, stuff it was a crazy good time stuff. and yeah but it, it was nice and um you know, I'll I'll be around. I'm I'm always in the shadows. I'm I'm always there doing stuff. She is. Even if uh, I'm not posting like a stuff. Yeah, yeah. When when was the last time you did anything for your channel? Uh, like content. -wise? Greg, we don't need to bring up uh, the two three year running. Uh, <laughs> it's the well, the sabbatical that I took. For you two. It's a thing. It's a thing. It is a thing. Uh, but it exists i haven't deleted it yet <laughs> i know it, you, it, there was a time um but anyway there you go. You, you're more more chance of seeing a chicken with teeth uh than seeing lauren <laughs> uh, do some content for a channel thank you thank um, you for that big motivation uh, greg <laughs> <laughs> uh but i look forward to the day i look forward to the day what can thank i say you. life happens as well uh, mm, lauren we know it that does. um well and, and you uh, never know she may show up because we tend to meet at the lego store so she may show up in one of my videos yeah oh that's true actually nice. yeah that's it by proxy she's making content i there you go. many content <laughs> yeah there we go there you are you actually you've been on loads of my live streams which i always uh, adore um now to, to Talking uh, uh, adoring things, uh, Fab Blondies, uh, this was your debut. Have you had a good time? I have. Good stuff. And I hope your cat didn't gag too many times whilst they were watching this. <laughs> no. <as well. laughs> just, just the one time. All right, good stuff. <laughs> just All right, one fair time. enough. I'll take one. Um, good <laughs> stuff. Uh, are you going to be doing anything over the course of the weekend? Maybe doing a, a live stream on Sunday, perhaps? Well, I'm not going to do a live stream on Sunday because I'm going to be with uh, family on Easter. Get okay. to see my twin nieces. and But I am going to the Lego store on Monday, obviously. I'm hoping, yeah. fingers crossed, that there will be some decent pieces <laughs> on the brick wall still, but I doubt it. But I might load up on Sig Fig pieces if they have anything left. Oh, okay, cool. That's a good idea. But, so there will be a video sometime during the week of that day. <laughs> very cool who knows when it'll be there yeah, it's, it's just come out when it comes out right? yeah that's it, that's it. i aim so, for wednesday lauren said that three years ago it'll come out when it comes out and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> she was like, i was like Blimey. uh fair enough um but anyway I, 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 people could say that about my city yeah. Um, all right. Good stuff. Well, anyway, Fab. Good to have you here. Um, enjoy your weekend as well. Are you going to be are you going to be diving into lots of Easter eggs over the weekend? Uh, don't think so. Really? I'm going to let my nieces take care of everything. Oh God, God, I must be. Uh, I love them. Hot cross buns as well. I had a triple chocolate hot cross oh. bun today, folks. Boom! It was good. I tell you. <laughs> uh, and only two hundred calories as well. But I was quite surprised by that. But then I did put lashings of butter on it as well. Uh, so that probably lashings. tripled that. Um, I do end up. I know. Yeah, I do. I, I love butter. <laughs> so butter makes it. Fat basically makes everything taste really good. Uh, I come <laughs> to the conclusion of. Um, I really do. Um, now. Uh, talking of things that taste it good, good. Uh, <laughs> carrying in. <laughs> uh, could have gone the other way there, but I thought no, that would be that would be very nice. Um, <laughs> Ian and Carrie, are you guys uh, going to be up to anything uh, Lego wise over the course of the weekend? Uh, yeah, we'll be streaming on Sunday. I'm not entirely sure what we're doing, but I'm sure we'll find something to do in this yeah. mess. There's lots of things that we could be doing. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, your room got a, a score of two. I mean, that's that's like, you know. It's fine. It's yeah. fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Know that. I mean, just remember the last room. How much was in the background of that one? This is. Yeah. <laughs> if you haven't taken anything out of that room, it's still the same. Can we get one out, but it still looks about the same. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Don't forget to update your calendar next week as well. I miss. Oh, yeah. I miss shot. not reminding you to do that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Good stuff. Um, all right, good stuff. So it is Sunday you'll be streaming. Anything yeah. else next week? Are you going to be doing like I mean, Twitch Tuesday or anything like that? Right, it's Easter holidays for the kids, so I can't guarantee that they will let me do it. Oh, she can't yeah, guarantee. Oh, kids won't let you do it. Well, the kids won't... well like, they might need entertaining. 
or feeding. Put a DVD on uh, or the, 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 <laughs> some yeah. streaming service. And that's how I won Mother of the Year on <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. exactly there. Uh, there we go. Oh. Or go out and buy the German football team or something like that. In yeah, the like, form. Yeah. That's what I think you should do. Like All right. Good luck. Anyway, just gotta the, learn the, their names first. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and buy the Lego one. Not I the think. Actual. Do you know what? I think. Right. If we can get Carrie on one of our streams in the next few weeks, and she can <laughs> rattle off all the names off the top of her head, I think Ian needs to then say, "All right, we we'll buy them." <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> 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 what can I say? I'm trying. I'm trying. I've, um, I've still got plenty of other mini things to get first. Once I've got those, I'll, I'll work on the Germans. You've got to get the new space series as well. Ian, oh Ian doesn't God. take subtle hints. Uh, right. Anyway, <laughs> folks, um, the survey this evening was asking you boys and girls the question uh, based on what we all know uh, so far, anyway, which CMS series uh, do you prefer? The 2024 Dungeons and Dragons? Uh, yes. 40% of you preferred them. That was the biggest vote tonight. Not too many votes behind was the 2024 Space Series on 34 uh, votes and undecided 24. Altogether, 86 votes. So thank you, everybody who voted on that. Um, I just want to say thank you as well for Jesse's for his uh, panel members question tonight. And like I did say before, if anyone's watching this back, let me know what you think down in the comments about that question as well. <clears throat> Uh, and obviously, uh, I just want to wish everybody uh, a very, very uh, happy Easter. Hope you guys, uh, and, and if you don't celebrate Easter, uh, then I just hope you have a nice long weekend if you happen to be having some sort of bank holiday. I don't think they are having bank holidays in America, are they? Am I right in saying that? Uh, yeah, it's no. Sunday. Yeah. You, you guys had about four. Really, I'm off think, today, but we don't have Monday off. Oh, you don't have Monday off? No, mm. I think in Europe we have. Um, uh, we have today off. Uh, we, we call it Good Friday, which is yep, always good when you've got a Friday off. Yep. Uh, which is uh, that was an easy one to come up with name wise. Mm -hmm. And then we got uh, Easter Monday as well, uh, which is a nice one to have. Obviously. I don't know why but, we don't have Easter Monday. I, uh, yeah, yeah. Americans don't even have that. They don't. But they've had about four bank holidays already this year, I think. Um, so. Uh, you know they, they, they don't do bad the Americans they don't do too bad at least I think anyway um, but anyway folks uh, I just want to say thank you for everybody who voted on the survey thank you for everybody who sent in their pictures this week as well and thank you to the likes of Emily Sykes Miss Amby KO uh, Two Gay Foles as well thank you uh, for sending me your pictures too guys uh, Minific Nick uh, Anna Rays of course uh, all the way from Spain let me see you uh, Iceberg Bricks he was in earlier on as well uh, he's really famous he is uh, so thank you for that uh, we also had Titanium J out there Trevor's videos and of course Johnny G and of course Brick Scene and Brick Hive and the lovely Selena to name but a few just remember to, folks if you take one thing away from watching London Calling uh, tonight on oh, number 217 I mean we are getting through them and aren't we getting through the years is it, is it me uh, on the panel here guys how quick are we going through this blooming year as well we're going to yep. be in April on Monday, and then we're going to be thinking May, which is when it's my birthday, and then it's going to be June. Chicago. Yeah, yeah Chicago is Chicago. like literally on the horizon. And on that note, folks, just remember that Lego, <laughs> Lego, it is a wonderful thing. And each and every one of you are too. Take care, have a wonderful weekend. And you know what? If you want to eat loads of Easter eggs, just eat loads of Easter eggs. Go for it. You know it makes sense. Good night. Don't pay eight pounds for them. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Try and get the cheap ones if you can. Yeah. <laughs>